Welcome to the Adam Friedland Show and Ramadan Mubarak to everyone celebrating. It's the Adam Friedland Show podcast with special guest today, Gavin Matt. Gavin Matt from Canada. Yeah. Mm. Welcome. How do we sound, Pete? Good? You sound good. good. Now, the viewers at home won't notice, but we have the air conditioner blasting. Yes. Because yeah, uh, it is, it's now, it's a warm day. And they still have the fucking radiators cranked. Yes, it's a classic NYC problem. The building has not turned off the heat mm -hmm. for winter, and it's not winter temperatures outside. So it, it's literally. But I'm telling you, I it's like a nightmare. This. You got to figure out. A big problem is there's not enough distinction between the podcast and the talk show. Yeah. And I think what we need to do is bring back the mics. This feels good. I th I th for I the podcast. I think if you're wondering like, oh, is this the show or the podcast? If you you can tell by the cables. Uh -huh. I think that's a good distinction. Yeah, yeah, we have well, to I kind of wanted to build <laughs> like a center console, uh -huh. like the kind that you'd see in like a conversion van. Uh-huh. With like cup holders, cup holders and a little screen in it. I like that. You know? Uh -huh. And then and then maybe change the stage so it's also like the inside of a conversion van. I like cup holders. Yeah. So I like when the cups don't fit in them. Maybe we could just get a van and back it, have the This back sounds half like a perfect it. project for you, which is the disassembling and reassembling a van in the studio. Having half of the back of a van <laughs> as the podcast uh -huh. stage. Yeah. Cool. That way it's, there's a clear visual distinction between the two. Getting yeah. a car. In here. You need a car in here. <laughs> That's big tech. Yeah. These yeah. are all things that I had planned initially, but then. Uh -huh. But then. Uh, what you do know, you think got in the way? Well, nothing got in the way necessarily, but I've, we've until very recently. I, I had to learn. I've never been a business owner before. It was just, you know, we our our, our old podcast was successful by chance, and I didn't know that you sh you shouldn't hire people because they're like they they're your friend. Not necessarily even your friend, but just I'm like this guy's fucking insane, dude. Uh -huh. Yeah, let's yeah. see what this That's guy. That's a does. bad because it's model. funny. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, funny. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, a lot of small businesses they have um, bad employees. No, the problem is, is if I think that if you do something like creative, you want the most creative people to get the best product. But then creative people often are lacking in like intelligence, not intelligence, but like uh, technical consensus is what I would say. OK, is that creative people, they figure out they figure out how to get what they want out of something creatively. And sure. then there's other people on the other end of the spectrum that are very technically minded. Because they go to school for it. But they know? don't, they're not necessarily but they're, they're, creative. They're not creative. They'll never make anything good. Ever. Nerds. They're, they're nerds. Yeah, they're, they're nerds. And the, yeah. nerds. They need to be told what to do. Right, exactly. You anybody anybody that would come in here and be like, well, there's the 180 degree rule when you're shooting, you're gone. You're you, done. Yeah. Yeah, you're yeah shut up. You you're think any of these attitude. migrants are good at tech? They're, pro they're probably. All ours. Yeah. Probably. They're, all, they're, in, they're in like a 900 person mariachi band. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to see. Is there a Guinness World Record for largest mariachi band? We got to we gotta we check found, that out. Yeah. That's the we other gotta thing. We got to check that and, out. And, and, and if not, you got to have, build it. The podcast has to have a theme, right? And yeah. that was the thing that we struggled with. That was why I think Cometown kind of failed because mm -hmm. we never had a theme. It was a show about nothing. Yeah. When mm -hmm. we started, everyone told us you have to have a theme. I thought we, the we podcast consulted failed with, because of crowd work clips. No, why? <laughs> that's we, we weren't doing that. No, but th that's uh, maybe what separated the group. Uh, I don't know what he's talking about. Oh, he's sorry. Saying, he's saying Stav did too many crowd work clips. Oh and my that god! Broke why up would the you podcast. say that, dude? I don't know. I don't really know anything about the dynamic. He's a friend of ours. I mean, it's it's been enough time. We can say it. Is Stav's like staunchly pro-Israel? Yeah. And it was like there was it's a lot crazy. of oh there was a lot of behind the scenes conversations where we'd say stop it's murder it's a genocide yeah he, he would say and this is I, I actually people really don't know his real voice I'd be look, like they've been there for three thousand like, your years. Jewish friends are scared they've been there <laughs> yeah. Jewish would you hide me and we said well first of all you're not Jewish and yeah. we don't yeah. have the technology I'll let me just say that I, I love I like you would need like something stuff. that could bend the fabric of space no time. we're talking right now I like stuff but also I heard he's gonna where Gaza is that's actually gonna be called Stavi's world. Yeah, uh, he wants us to open the theme park. The theme park. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, where like the refugee camps are. Yeah. They, it would be great if they could turn Gaza into P Stav's new <laughs> podcast studio. <laughs> 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 yeah, it, and it's also crazy. I went to Greece last summer and I googled uh, the ADL does an anti-Semitism index for every country. 68% in Greece. So it's strange 60. that he's so staunchly pro-Israel when he comes from such a, a you know, anti-Semitic uh, culture, you know? Right. It's very confusing. It's kind of a curveball. 
but you know that's why it keeps us on our on our toes i love it i love israel i love it you know that you do like saber metrics for anti-semitism it was very funny to find out that the that the adl the (laughs) Mm -hmm. (laughs) is every number now their anti-semitism over a replacement people is actually it's lower than it's so it's such a funny thing so it might be 98 percent nazis there but you would (laughs) if you eradicated all of them the people that would come in would be 99 percent nazi yeah so they're actually negative one percent if you look at the 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 effective number I was literally Googling that as a joke and then got an answer for it. What do you mean as a joke? Like by yourself? No, yeah, I, like, this would be funny. Me. I was I with my girlfriend like, actually on vacation, no, a romantic joke. vacation. And the guy in the hotel said, he's like, oh, yeah, like we hate Jews here. Really? Yeah. Because it's so cheap are you just, to go there. Are you crushing with your girlfriend constantly? Like um, when you're saying stuff, no, and she's she like doesn't find me up, funny at all. Yeah, she doesn't I, find I, me funny at all. I because it, yeah. it's crazy. To me. The first thing you she's know, ever no liked, did, you know. the first thing she has, she's ever liked, and the audience, uh, I just uh, want to mention this as well, are the uh, Taft's digital shorts, uh, the weekly Taft's digital shorts, which are now on Patreon. Now on Patreon. Or more likely, just fucking steal. Yeah, patreoncom slash Taft's. But my girlfriend loves them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I, and then I realized while she was laughing, I was like, that's the first time. I've been associated with any laughter uh, on your behalf. I'm pissed. I'm back into chewing my soul patch area. Mm. Really? It's been a hot spot for me for my entire adult life. And then I got gum surgery, and I couldn't chew on it. Mm -hmm. And I thought I'd finally broken. And what does that look like? This has been more of a detriment to me of all my bad habits, worse than alcoholism or... uh, Chewing on the pussy tickler. uh, Well, I don't really call it. I don't... How do you... I call it... You you call it soul patch... But I think I chew the skin raw. I would always have to shave it completely because the hair would. I would get mm-hmm. like a oral fixation and chew on it. I stopped for a month, and now I'm back to just shoving it in my mouth. You have an oral fixation? I think so. Yeah. It's a terrible mm-hmm. thing. I'm oral retentive anal explosive. I think is my I I N N I combo. Classic N I F J is that N I J R? What was my profile? No, I my don't think that's the personality. I don't profile? think that, that. I don't think that was. <laughs> no, no, no. I don't think anal explosive. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm anal explosive. N I J R. The Scientology uh, Center. You went for a test. Yeah, no, you got a, a reading. As well, yeah. Really? Yeah. So I need to. You have what? to ha- hold on to the things. <laughs> yeah, the I did the fucking I did, I did I did We'll read DC. your fortune. I did that when I was still in Vancouver before I moved to LA as a bit, and I was like, I'm moving to LA, and they were like, Whoa, we got like a lot of stuff down there. They were excited about did it. Do they offer you a career? No. Now I just have beard hair constantly I'm a stuck guest in on the show right now. Teeth. Really? Because it comes out, I chew on, and then you got to respect the pussy tickler, my brother. Yeah. I don't even know what my habits are. I think it's good that you know. You don't know what your habits are? No, because I just, I just, I guess I've accepted them, or I just ha- haven't been trying to get rid of it. Well, you're, you're not aware of them. You probably I'm have one aware. weird one that you don't know about. I'm sure I do. African American vernacular English. Yeah, A A A V. Yeah, that's one of my habits. But as you well. do Canadian. Have you seen that video of that Canadian wigger woman? <laughs> no, it's yeah, it's so good. It's so funny. Yeah, yeah. Canada's it's the, got the Toronto Zoom, accent. The Zoom, you we're old enough now that like Zoomers have their own version of wiggers. Uh-huh that's acceptable like you know because like ours was not i mean it was never really acceptable but that's like, one of the best things that the zoomers have done between, is that is the only bringing major that back. generational difference i think between millennials and zoomers is it a toronto accent it, no no it's, it's the wiggers, the wiggers. <laughs> yeah i know so you call it a toronto accent you well, know when it's video i'm talking about like yo shorty's talking shit you yeah, know, yeah. Oh, yo yo yeah. It's a yeah, it's like a Canadian wigress. Yeah. yeah. And what does she say? She says something about like she's uh, like if you leave your mom's in the hood, if you leave your mom's in the hood, seek to my stomach, fam. Yeah. Half of it is like seek to my stomach, fam. It's like rude yeah. boy bumba clot. Yeah. Oh, it's kind of Drake. Come on, Drake man. appropriated West Indian uh, sl- slang. I like the classic Canadian accent, bud. Like I but like, like it's a gen- let's go hack a dart. It's generational like, I like that. though. Do that. Because T Rock Hack a dart is smoke a cig. Yeah. What's his name on on Trailer Park Boys? T Rock. T Rock. He yeah. just sounds like that's like just an American kind of style. Uh-huh. Yeah. What I remember to be, right, a race appropriator. Uh huh. Right? And the new one now is unrecognizable to me. Yeah. It's it's we, Toronto is like a very West Indian and properly Indian. Uh, totally. Yeah, they have a big South Asian population and a West Indian population. Huge. Yeah. Whole market full of them. Yeah, fam. You, like where they have shops and stuff. 
It's their own businesses. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of those Toronto accent clips that are very funny. Like the ones that talking about uh, where, where people the go school? to school. Yeah, yeah, yeah the school like, one is very good. Yeah, I wish I could What's remember. What's the town called? It's like uh, one of the suburbs. I, I am from Vancouver, so we don't really have... But that's like a different country. You're from China, basically. Basically, yeah. That's China, Canada. We Vancouver went there. Vancouver's crazy because it was a logging town. No one lived there. It was just guys having fucking pancakes uh-huh. until like 1975. And then, boom, just just Chinese China. people. Yeah. yeah. They brought the, the heroin, I'm assuming. He- lots of heroin. Lots of heroin, yeah. Now it's fentanyl. It's also crazy. And they got those safe injection sites. Vancouver in the entire world Pathetic. might have the <laughs> highest ratio of like... Uh, uh, pretty. What do you? What would you call it? Topography, like natural beauty, yeah, oh, versus yeah. architectural ugliness. I like. I like the, I like the brutalist. I think it's I like nice. the brutalist stuff. I like the downtown courthouse. is nice. Yeah. It's, nah, Vancouver is one of they the. They got that Swedish uh, architect has a lot of stuff there. What's his name? But anyways, Adolf that courthouse Hoover. is beautiful. I don't remember the, the courthouse. I remember most of the well. The they have like a law the there, shopping centers where you can't block the view from the building behind you, right? So all the buildings slope down to the water. A it's lot, nice. a lot of the houses are ugly because in the '80s there was like a that boom of like people right, so moving saying, there. There was a so bad boom, and you're not allowed to have basements. Mm. So like, or or you're only allowed to have basements if like the so like they built the first floor like two inches deep. So they figured out a way they could build houses in like really quick. So every house like looks the same and, and it's like they have like a fake basement so they could get the square footage and build quicker. Sick to and my so stomach, now they're all fam. Fucking, yeah, they're sick to my stomach, Stick fam. Sick to my stomach, <laughs> Come fam. on, man. So y- all those houses are so ugly and they have like stucco on them. Yeah. Yeah, and a bunch of waste men yeah. live there. Yeah. A lot of Italians, too. You don't know that. Do they let them? Uh, they let them, yeah. Oh my god! My church growing up was all Italian. I was like, "Why do we go here?" I thought it was just Catholic? an Italian thing. Yeah, you went to a, a Roman Catholic church. Yeah, were you? It, did you get confirmed? Yeah, you got baptized. I got baptized. I got confirmed. Molested? I would no. I wasn't allowed to be an altar boy. Really? Why yeah. are you uh, too ugly? Uh, emotional problems. Um. Why were you, you mean you weren't allowed to be? An I wanted to be, but you weren't. Oh, you were your banned. mom saved yeah, I, you. No, I was so horny. For the priest? No, but my I wasn't allowed. I, I wanted to be, but my mom was like, no. Oh, because she knew about the spotlight stuff. Yeah, she knew about she spotlight. She saved your ass. She saved my ass, literally, <laughs> figuratively. Shouts out to moms. You Did you leave her in the hood? <laughs> yeah, she's about in the hood. a movie about f- discovering uh, a bunch of child molestation in the Hindu church. Uh-huh. And it's called Dot Light. <laughs> That's pretty good. That's good. Just how about it? Yeah. yeah. How about that? How about that? <laughs> I'd hear the whole pitch. That's it. That's it. I don't it. remember enough of spotlight. Like it. It's Mark but Ruffalo. I tell you, Mark the Ruffalo's would be just fish. as fun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. So, oh, oh, God, Nick, you, you, I'm gonna go out of sequence, please. But I have to what do you mean this out of sequence. Uh, for the appropriate podcast, like uh, uh, etiquette, like it's non-linear. But I have a last minute booking, guys in Irvine the 19th and 20th of April and I just have to get it out there it was literally booked today so I have two weeks to sell tickets you know 7,000 seat venues no that's good to do right now I I mean I I feel like we were just kind of getting into the flow of this but well actually so that's good you got to sell tickets in Irvine no no I thought dot life light and then that's a good cut and then Nick said the accents are funny and I was like okay this is we were giving him nothing we on that. Starting to riff. There hasn't been. We a no. We were I'm giving him. We were giving I, him nothing on I that. If I say anything, like people are gonna be like, "Oh, Nick's in a bad." You know, I'm s- I'm set. I'm settling in. I'm trying. I'm trying to riff. I'm looking both ways. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Nick's get coming with bangers. He's the you're funniest guy dates. ever. I dates. agree. Well, the you're dates, coming with dates. Yeah, that's very funny. <laughs> yeah, it's a comedy show. You I know? like doing dates. You ever do some stuff on the road? Yeah. I'll be in Portland next weekend. Oh, I'll get it out there. April, I'm in some places too. April 11th. I think there's only, I think three of the shows are sold out. We got maybe one more. The Helium tickets. is the best. How's the money? The money's good? In Portland? Yeah. Yes, that's a good uh-huh. market. For that's me. a good market for you. I yeah. didn't do too hot in Raleigh, but then it ended up being a lot of fun. I mean, this is, it's so, it sounds. I was doing a show in uh, it's Geneva, like false, Geneva false, false Ohio. Humility, but I forgot how fun like a half filled room is. Cause then you're like, oh, the pressure's. I off. don't give a fuck. I yeah, just fuck around. Totally. Yeah. Yeah, I like a half filled room. That's yeah. most of the rooms I'm, <laughs> I'm doing. You were in Geneva, Ohio. Yeah, 
I was doing a show in Geneva, Ohio. And What's the, that the all about? Portland stinks as a town, though. It's an awful you place. Know, I remember the first time I went to Portland because everyone would sell it to me. They're like, "Oh, it's just like Austin," and this was back when Austin was. And know, they were also weird. They were also weird. So you're like, "Who is weird first? Yeah, it's another weird place. People people would describe Portland as Austin with shitty weather and less jobs. Yeah, and I know. and uh, and I I was like, "This sucks." This town stinks. It's worse every time you go there. Well, too. everyone's it's always like uh, from Vancouver. They go down there to watch basketball mm-hmm. and they and go to the strip clubs. Yeah, but everything a is a strip club, and po- you'll go. There's like a, got, you go into a McDonald's. There's a nude there, woman on a, the yeah, table. Yeah, there's naked people everywhere. It's out of control. That's what yeah. happens when you give people drugs. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I had a homeless couple, and I've told this story before. A homeless couple politely asked me to leave the city when I was in Portland. Really? They came up to me, this woman. is a man with one eye. One of his eyes, he looks like he got stabbed in Well, the maybe eye. he saw something. It's so scary. I don't know. He and could have been a seer. Out, she's like, can we help you? And I'm like, what the fuck are you talking What do you know? What are you talking about? And then she's like, well, if we can't help you, then we'd like you to leave our city, please. It's rude. Yeah. I, mean, I was wearing that <laughs> Fuddruckers hat backwards. I think they might have thought it was a MAGA hat. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Illiterate. Well, you think if they're if they're, they're, they're an <laughs> unhoused yeah. couple, they'd they'd want America to be. I great would like again. to imagine it was just people from the Red Scare subreddit. <laughs> but that's just the average. No, they would like that hat. That's just the average Red Scare subreddit person is a a homeless someone in an a homeless sixty five year old woman <laughs> with her non verbal <laughs> one eyed boyfriend. Yeah. <laughs> just never living listened. in a tent, cheating on each other. You gotta listen. That's great. I've never listened um, to what. Red Scare. It's not even the podcast. Podcasts have nothing to do with their subreddits anymore. They're completely separate entities. There yeah. are there are a couple of uh, podcasts that I don't listen to that I do check out their subreddit because Fighter it's and the Kid, of course. No, 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 no. Uh, no, it's all women podcasts, all, all, of course, because their fan bases have turned on them. And you, they just that's and every fun. that's every podcast. Yeah, their fan base is all. That's why I see. That's what liking podcasts is: is turning on the pod. Your the people. Uh, the interesting. Yeah. Our, our have, audience, no our audience is, has fallen off though. So our podcast is great because it's like th- just two. It's like it's, three guys yeah, talking it's, to it's, each other. It's literally it's, four guys. There's like almost well, that you, hate you us. built a community. There's nobody on there. The community. There's nobody on there, and those guys are like another terrible episode. It's been bad for two and a half years now. Yep, this one sucks. Also, I get it. That's and how then, I but, feel about Survivor. But there's four of them. Is it gotten off? It's gotten awful. Yeah, just everybody that they cast to be on Survivor now is like gay. Are you into The Bachelor? S- no, I watched. I watched. I watched, yeah, I watched a couple a of bit. episodes this yeah. season. It's my first time actually watching The Bachelor. It's insane that that is, is as big of a cultural event as it is. Well, you, you know how like rea- this like Bachelor kind of spurred all these like insane reality TV shows where they're like, "What more can we do with this?" Uh-huh. I was watching this one on like Peacock or something. It's called Couples to Thruples, and it's like couples and it's they're trying poly, to get a third. A yeah, poly it's a poly thing. show. It's nuts. These people are all insane. I would never go on that. And they show pussy on it or no? It they talk? show them. They basically all the uh, the first night they pair up. They've they're basically fucking really. And they're all under the sheets doing it on Peacock. Yeah. I and this girl was like, "Well, I have so many friends. Why can't I have more like in a people in a relationship?" And the guy's like sitting there, like, "Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, you should. Yeah, because <laughs> yeah, the should get more pussy fuck. for me. Yeah, I want a whole network just called the Pissed Off Channel, and it's uh, all types of shows. Uh-huh. You know, like the DIY network. It's like how to fix a house or uh-huh. whatever. It's just every show is like a different type of person, and they're pissed off about <laughs> something. I like and, that. And you know, and but it's a different personality, and they're always so like uh-huh. you tune into one." So you yeah. have like a falling down Michael, Michael Douglas show? Or are we no, doing it's like, like a reality show. But like instead of like, okay, so today we're going to refinish the cabinets. It uh, could be me. I could have a show. And it'd be like, yeah. I picked up my laundry yesterday. I put it down and the cat shit into the laundry. Yeah. Oh, it I got like, on top of the bag I that. and shit directly <laughs> into the laundry bag. <laughs> That's really annoying. I got brand new sheets Did that you I bought punch fucking the cat? six months ago. You What's can't that? punch a cat. You can't punch the cat. They don't have feelings. Their collarbone is loose in their stomach. They're waiting for you to die. You won't tell anyone this. You got to pit bull just so he could abuse his pet like no. he wanted a more robust dog no i did it for colonizer gentrification oh so i could walk around the my, the neighborhood i've gentrified with a my murder dog nice yeah yeah and say spread love it's the brooklyn way fellas yeah, yeah. how's everyone doing you hang today? out on spike lee's block i heard a lot he his company is a couple blocks away from mine see uh he's, he's always down there 
Yeah. Spike, yeah, yeah. Doing the right thing. I'm doing the right thing. Yeah. You gotta do the right I thing. I threw a trash can through the window of his production company, actually. Oh shit. And I'm like, you remember this? Because from he's upping the I'm like, remember from do the right thing? It's funny that <laughs> I'm doing <laughs> I'm doing the wrong thing right now. Yeah, I was in Geneva, Ohio, and the 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 guy who produced the show said that if I sell out, I can keep the door. And I was like, just give me the money. Wait, so oh. what was the <laughs> he's doing that he's saying that they, the door, the actual door. Oh, 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 yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. All right. No. That's good. We have fun here. I like that I kind of shit. I do, but I that completely I was expecting a story about a booker fucking you over. <laughs> no, he said if I if I sell out the show, yeah, I can, can keep, keep the door. Keep How are you going to get that I on said Delta? Just give me the money. I don't get it out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> what the hell am I going to do with a door? Let's take right. that from the top. That's very good. Let's take that from the top. I was, I was doing in. A I didn't show. know you were doing comedy right now cuz you weren't using Let's it get on that clean. <laughs> Let's get that do it again. Be like, "Yo, so I yo, was yo, so I was uh, in Geneva, go. Ohio. Now Listen up, for... motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> Listen up, crackers. <laughs> now I'm now okay. All right, do it. Gavin Mack. Let's get it clean. <laughs> and <laughs> okay, <laughs> and <laughs> three. He said two. to me, <laughs> no, no, no. Let's get it clean for uh, for editing. Three, two, one. Gavin. So Nick. Mm. Whoa. Talk to you for a second. <laughs> what? Thank God you said his name. Whoa. <laughs> Gavin, what was that? We said the accent. We didn't say the words. Oh, so I was in uh, Geneva, Ohio, <laughs> and uh, the <laughs> producer of the show said, if you sell out, you can keep the door. Uh. I said, just give me the money. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, that boy, that ooh, boy. Ooh, 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 Shit, ooh. You stupid. That, you, you stupid. What am I going to do with the door? Said, he said, keep the door. What am I going to do with the door? He said, keep the door. <laughs> he said, keep the door. <laughs> <laughs> but I guess I just do crowd work, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What is that? Matt Rife. He did that? At the end of his special, yeah. He goes, but I guess I just do He crowd. tells the story, he goes, but I guess I just do crowd work, right? That's what, oh, that, oh, he's not a one-trick pony. I'm not a one-trick pony. Yeah. Nelly Furtado. Mm-hmm. Should I start telling people I'm dating Matt Rife? Do you think that would help my career? I need him. Yeah. I need him. Because at a certain point, he'd, he's, have, to, he's, 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 he'd, he'd have to say he's no. He's developing a workplace comedy for Netflix. Yeah. At a certain point, he'd I have was to thinking deny he's like, it. He works at a Here's office, the thing. That's the and he's got to do OnlyFans. <laughs> to, so he starts doing it's OnlyFans with it's his, the gay, perfect his crunch. gay wife with at the Dwight? office. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if I go around. Because his, his grandma's going to die, and he's got to pay medical bills. If I go around like saying that I'm dating that wife. It's like... Go ahead. Sorry. No, no, it's all right. Yeah, now, yeah. now I want to hear more about the workplace comedy. So well, we, it's a Matt Rife workplace comedy uh, yeah. and that he's developing at Netflix. Yeah. Announced yesterday. Uh-huh. Deadline. Got to keep up. Uh-huh. You got to keep up. Well, I don't and read my the pitch trades. for him is that he works at an office and his grandma's dying. And then he, that he realized the only thing he can do to pay her medical bills is he, he does OnlyFans. Uh-huh. And, and, he, and he gets a... OnlyFans is a special that he did or OnlyFans is a website. OnlyFans is a website. So Matt Rife... Well, there's a motif in his work overall, and it's referencing OnlyFans. He seems to be uh, obsessed with this website. Yes, oh, well, yeah. because the CEO donated money to the IDF. Really? Is that true? Yeah, the Israel lobby. They I denied it. I read recently the that owners. all really? pornography is controlled by, by the Jews. By the Jews. Yeah, yeah, yeah I've, I've read, read that, that recently. Mm. That the entire industry is all like Pornhub and all that uh-huh. is all, all part of like a, a secret campaign that it's about getting... kidnap children and take them down into the tunnels. Uh-huh. Well, I I think it's about like uh, getting uh, pussy from children, everyone from babies. horny. Yeah. The, well, can I just say this about kidnapping children? I uh-huh. mean, where are you going to take them to the sky? That's true. Yeah. Yeah. Where How else the fuck are you going to get up there, Ooh, Nick? Where else are you going to? You crazy? How am I going to get up there with kids and the door? Look, I am Come just on. I'm an observer of the world. Mm-hmm. I don't I don't have any kind of insight or any critical thought mm-hmm. about anything. Right. But you do a lot of observing. I do of the world. Uh huh. So and what I've observed is there is there seems to be an OnlyFans obsession. Mm-hmm. And what do you think? Why is that? Is it because of some kind of deal with OnlyFans? From, from it's interesting from that Matt you, can, Rife? you can even get away with naming. Well, I think your he's like a hot. He's, he's like a he's like an attractive. Comedian. But I couldn't. It's the name of a business, and there's no pun there or anything. I couldn't put out. A, I can't make a movie and just call it McDonald's. You no. know what I mean? Well, yeah. I mean, what would it even be about? I don't know. It would be about me working in an office. Yeah, you And I have to get a job. That. I have to get a job at McDonald's. You couldn't you call it Dwight. You couldn't call it McDonald's. Also, only fans, it's like that's not what it is. Uh-huh. It's not a good name for it. 
If it was me, it'd be only fan. <laughs> it'd be <laughs> just my father watching. Oh, it's my only. <laughs> it's the only one. I didn't know we were doing comedy. He yeah. loves the. <laughs> you didn't do that in your stage voice. <laughs> um. Yeah, y'all have. <laughs> oh, he checked his watch. No, I didn't. No, I forgot. We, we have to. Read. We have to do ad reads. So I gotta always. But I uh, noticed that I did not start Set the stopwatch at the beginning. P, um, where are we at? Yeah, go ahead and hit him with. The okay, give give him a little f- a stink, Adam. Gavin. I want to tell you about something. You told me a lot of fucked up things about your personal life last night, and this might help you out. Um. Because this episode is sponsored by Blue Chew. <laughs> you know about that? No. What? What is this? Let's talk about sex, Gavin. Okay. Guys, remember the days when you were always ready to go? Yeah. <laughs> I'm ready to go. I right. Ju- Nick's ready to go. He just li- he's he's ready. I just he's turned thirty, and uh, can I just say things have changed for me, and I wish there was something that could fix it. You just turned thirty. A couple weeks ago. You look great. Anyway, now you can increase your performance and get that extra confidence in bed. Listen up. BlueChew.com. Whoa. Okay? BlueChew is a unique online service that delivers the same active ingredients as Viagra, Cialis, Levitra, but in a chewable tablet and at the fra- a fraction of the cost. A fraction of the cost? Yeah. I've, I've been getting ripped off. I've been paying $100 a pill for too long and until I found this service. And how much they Well... I'll get to that. Oh. We have a, a special offer for our listeners. Uh, you can take them anytime, day or night. First, I, I should mention, and uh, so you can plan ahead or be ready whenever the opportunity arises. You like that double entendre? Oh, That's bars. I haven't been like this in a in a while. When's the last time you were properly hard? Uh, this afternoon. Can't lie. Really? Yeah. Were you watching your boyfriend getting changed up? <laughs> <laughs> uh, just kidding. There's nothing wrong with it. Anyway, the process is simple. Sign up at BlueChew.com. Consult with one of their licensed medical providers. And once you're approved, you'll receive your prescription within days. The best part, it's all done online. So no visits to the doctor's office, no awkward conversations, and no waiting in line at the pharmacy, which I fucking hate doing because of you know who. I don't know. I like going to the pharmacy these days because they're always stealing ice cream. At Who the is? pharmacy? Oh, at CVS? Uh, Blue Chew's tablets are made in the USA and prepared and shipped direct to your door in a discreet package. So here's the deal, guys. Blue Chew wants to help you have better sex. Discover your options at BlueChew.com. Chew it and do it. And we've I've got, got a, a stockpile of this shit. Yeah. I have a fucking, I have probably 400 of these pills at my house. Really? Yeah. Yeah. He's You're a prepper. Like prepper. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Basically. Doomsday. Yeah. Yeah. He's ready. Uh, and what would you do? Oh, Doomsday is going to be. We've the, got a special deal. Real things. quick, we've got a special mm-hmm. deal for our listeners. Try Blue Chew free when you use our promo code TAFS T A F S at checkout, and just pay five dollars shipping. That's fucking great deal. That's BlueChew.com promo code T A F S. And receive your first month free. Visit BlueChew.com for more details and important safety information. you got to read the safety information. And we thank BlueChew for sponsoring the podcast. And now we're back. Welcome back to the show. And we're back on the show. Chet Hanks sit here? I am one of the chairs, yeah. Awesome. He's awesome. We have four chairs. He's so awesome, dude. He is, he is awesome. Legend. I love him so much. He's, he's kind of got a Toronto accent that he can do. He, yeah. yeah, he's got a bunch of accents. Yeah. He's a kind of a Rasta Klot kind of accent. Yeah. He told me he got that he got with a lot of Jamaican girls after that video dropped. I bet. He said the outpouring of love from the island was overwhelming. Damn. So you want to take a crack at it? The no. accent? No, I did one accent I already regret. Which is what your regular accent when you're on stage? stage accent <laughs> <that> you <laughs> the stage accent that the you stage do? accent yeah. that you do every time. You're like the last white Indian comedian. Yeah, <laughs> I'm the last white Chinese comedian. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm kind of like the last white Chinese comedian. I'm kind of like the last white Chinese Cruise. Cruise. Mexican. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Tom Cruise is the last white Chinese comedian. <laughs> uh, oh man! Knock knock. Who's there? Well, th- I don't know that. That's just from the trailer. That's Tom Hanks, and it's Catch Me If You Can. Knock, knock. Who's, Who's there? there? Go fuck yourself. It's very funny. Very what funny movie part. Is that? Catch Me If You Can. 
uh, plays Carl Hanratty, the FBI agent. Yeah, but one, I don't remember the how, trailer. Uh, recently, how though. awesome! How oh, I was doing it like knock knock like that was Tom Cruise, like the Chinese yeah. comedian. Knock. Oh, I thought you meant that in the Last Samurai they said knock knock, and no. I was like, no, no. you're th- that. Um, it is Catch Me If You Can is funny because that guy was like pretending to be a pilot. And getting pussy off of it. Yeah, that shit rocked. Yeah. It's so cool. We've fallen so far. You can't do that ag- anymore. No, mm-hmm. this, you just, they haven't caught the people doing it yet. There's a, There was that autistic black kid that just pretended to be a gynecologist for like a year. <laughs> mm-hmm. I like he, was like, he was like 13. My hero. Yeah. And all, all he did was buy the jacket. Yeah. And then somehow he was like fucking looking at women's pussies being like, looks fucking <laughs> awesome. <laughs> See you next week. And it took them forever to catch him. The headshot of him was great. He was yeah. Like, this. like a child. <laughs> great pussy, man. <laughs> <laughs> you get yeah, I don't, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. I can't. I, I don't see anything wrong with it. Yeah, that. we'll get. Yeah, smells do good. The, do the tongue depressor part. Sorry, I know this is the worst. <laughs> yeah. Here we go. Okay, looks good. No strep. Here's Just your lollipop. <laughs> Adam bringing back the finger smell. Oh man, that's They're my move these days on stage. What is it? I tell jokes like, and that's why I'm Jewish. And then I say, it's sm- that's m- it smells like pussy. That's what I say. Crazy. For the I record, I've been in gastric pussy. distress all morning. Nick ate old salsa, guys. No, it wasn't old. I bought it from the corner store, but oh, they yeah, sold old. Sometimes there's dust on items at the. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But for some reason, that just some of the groceries are dusty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And that's I mean, never good. It didn't look expired. But it's on the outside of the they package. Don't expire? No. Salsa doesn't expire. They don't Can't. know when it does, though. But How could you know? Even the expiration dates, it's you're like, guess. they're like, we, they're just like what we legally have to put. Wasn't uh-huh. that an Adam ruins everything episode? Uh huh. I had never Where watched that. He was like, that. "Food actually doesn't go bad." And he's just sitting there eating like rotten cheese. He's eating. <laughs> no one has made me want a union bus more. What? Oh, yeah. Then Adam. <laughs> Literally, <laughs> I mean, ruins everything. Yeah. See yeah, those yeah. pictures. He ruins. He ruined unions for me. He mm-hmm. did. And I'm a union man. He mm-hmm. might be actually like a psyop, kind of from the big studios to make you, to ruin uh, unions. Yeah. Just yeah. anybody that wears like a checkered suit jacket, like on purpose. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. I, we've said this before on the podcast, but Nick and I, when we were first moved to New York, we're at a, a comedy party, and uh, there were girls taking a selfie, and he just walked past them, past them, and he goes. Selfie time! <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> and that's inside baseball, and it's I don't know. It, cool. I don't know anything about baseball. He rocks, dude. That's crazy. Selfie time. Is the show still on? Probably I hope not. So. I think it's True TV. I like the autistic guy that was just like driving uh, the train, the trains, yeah, and just the like subway, doing yeah. it properly. Yeah, but he's he been, did a great he's job. Going to prison now he's several on Rikers. times. He's, yeah. a, he's on Rikers. <laughs> no, that's not fair. For just driving for the loving bus. trains. Yeah. Uh, that's really cruel, actually. You could make an argument that the other guy was autistic also, but he's just like autistic for pussy. Yeah. The gynecologist. The better guy. kind. You yeah. just don't know. You just don't hear like, about I, that so much. Well, it's like if he was just trying to, I mean, he would just be a rapist if he wanted to. <laughs> uh-huh. You know what I mean? Like, why? Like, I you know what just, you mean. You're already breaking the law by <laughs> pretending to be <laughs> Ladies a Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, my client is autistic well, for no, pussy. I mean, this is my point. <laughs> <laughs> this is my point. It's like, it's yeah, so much lawyer. more work. It's so much more work for, for legally speaking the same crime. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> you know, there's no difference between pretending to be an, a gynecologist to give illegal vaginal exams. It's sexual assault. It's sexual assault. Yeah. A, 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 as it is to just hold a woman yeah. down and, and rape her at gunpoint. I mean, it's also, it's like any guy that's a gynecologist, you're like, why? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Why you know, would you I ever want to help a woman? I yeah. think it's the, it's, I, <laughs> think I think it's easier. I think it's like, it's like a being a dentist. Well, there was like the guy who was like at um, Columbia, the doctor that was like the gynecologist. Like I know. And then he would, he would like lick their pussy halfway through. It's insane. And he did it hundreds of times. It's insane. And then he's, when I, I, saw some of his trial but he's like i thought it was consensual <laughs> nobody likes that <laughs> it's just like it's like well how did you, how did I you meet your know. wife it's like well he was my gynecologist and he just randomly started licking my pussy halfway through an exam and i said uh, what 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 a weird quirky 
doctor this I is have. a meet cute. My, my grade two teacher. Maybe we should go see a Hugh Grant movie. Your again. grade two? My grade two grade <laughs> second grade teacher, uh, Mr. Palador. He actually Mr. Palestine? He, <laughs> Mr. Palador. He he got he got uh I guess fired, barred or whatever. He was like rubbing girls like shoulders and that and that came out. And grade his two and girls? No, he was like rub giving shoulder rubs and stuff to in, grade in two girls? Yeah, and then that came out. And I heard his defense was like well, they were really like they were really tight. They, were like, really they tight, needed yeah. like mm. they were stressed out. And that fucking six year old. They were learning stressed, times. Stressed they were learning dude. times tables. They were stressed out. Yeah, yeah. Stressed out. <laughs> In Degrassi, they used to say that. I'm so stressed out. I would never work with children. <laughs> never. Never. I mean, mm -hmm. it's just because there's so many ways things could be misinterpreted. And if I had to, I'd be in like the Pope mobile, basically. I'd be in a yeah. sealed and bulletproof glass. Mm -hmm. Unless I was there, you'd boss. be in Magneto's prison. Yeah. Yeah. And <laughs> I would communicate with them through two layers of Google Translate. Yeah. So anything I needed to say, it would go into Chinese first, <laughs> then Spanish, <laughs> then back to English for the kids. And that way it's like anything, you know, mm -hmm. if something, if they misinterpret something, look, that's either it's some Google's Chinese fault. guys follow the Spanish. Don't people, you think that we also have to give like child labor people, like the people in charge a little more credit? Like how the fuck do you like get these kids to focus like that no but it's, it's now like a lot to deal with it's the ipad generation they can't do what these kids back in our grandparents days oh our grandparents that were working mm -hmm. child labor yeah, my grandfather my grandfather was a fucking he was at a factory well now these kids they build the <laughs> ipad they start playing with it now well, that's they, what they, <laughs> <everybody> <laughs> just start oh, now they can't stop watching the fucking door of the explorer what the hell are they doing on the ipad because that's <laughs> they <laughs> love that? it but i i have an ipad I've used it twice. It sucks. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck. I've had suck. What are they doing on there? <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. They like the games are like bad. Yeah, they're terrible. Like the games aren't fun. Like yeah, I have an Apple TV, right? There's a whole game section. There are games for Who the fuck is the, playing the, the, that? the games that they have available on a plane. Yeah, just play Nintendo yeah, yeah. Switch. <laughs> I know. It's like a regular kid. Ooh, bejeweled. <laughs> a game from thirty five years ago. You ever play Overcooked? No. Oh, it's like a, you're like a chef in a kitchen, but it's crazy. You start yelling. <laughs> you're like Gordon Ramsay style. <laughs> it like sounds young. like a good show for the Pissed channel. Yeah. yeah Overcooked. Okay. Yeah. TPC. And I think this about Pissed. I've the got Pissed the number Network. one show on TPC. <laughs> <laughs> I think on TPC, I think it's kind of like <laughs> anthology shows where each, each, each thing is like a new person. It's yeah. never repeat posts. You have to get different kinds of Pissed. Yeah. Yeah. Angry black old guy. Horny Indian guy that can't that hasn't figured out how to get a girlfriend. He's so horny he can't even scam a grandma. Yeah, yeah. He's fucking mad. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Podcast the podcast fan grievance uh, uh, show. But I would watch that dude. An hour an hour of a show and yeah. it's just a midwestern <laughs> couple in their late fifties <laughs> trying to get uh, trying to untangle christmas lights and then they plug them in uh -huh. and they don't none of them work <laughs> oh my god the i hate work. my wife show would be great yeah <laughs> yeah well plug it in a different way i watch these like things on youtube what what other fucking way am i supposed to plug it in <laughs> what other fucking way <laughs> <laughs> Somehow triggered. And then just me smiling at home eating rotten salsa. I'm like, wow, what a With perfect dust. Yeah. What a per perfect evening to have gastric I I distress too. They pull out the ornament and and a bunch of them are broken. I love I love he they put call them it away. gastric He's distress. Mad. It makes me feel like there's a tiny little woman tied up on train tracks in my colon somewhere. You have to shit bad. And there's a giant there's a giant makes you feel piece like a of shit about to run her over. Oh my and God. there's a guy dicked at my penis is, has a top hat and a big mustache and he goes yes <laughs> well this woman's about to be run over by a big piece of shit and that's what I think of when anytime I hear gastric distress mm -hmm. you know the train tying someone up on the train tracks that's from Broadway no it's from it's Dick not a real thing it's from Dick Dastardly the cartoon character is it I didn't think it was a real thing. I didn't think that, like, in the back in the old times, they I, were like... I read that it was it started in, on, like, in live theater, like, a guy did it, and then everybody started stealing it from him. Mm -hmm. That's But it's such... Again, a Jewish guy. Again, it's such a bizarre crime. <laughs> it's back to the gynecologist thing. If you were a serial killer, you would just murder the woman in her house. Mm -hmm. You wouldn't tie her up and take her all the way to a train. The train, Like, oh, let's see what happens Well, that's here. why these these heroes are always getting away. Because they're like, you know, like a hero in a thing there because they like are like, OK, well, here's your demise. And then they leave and then they escape. Mm -hmm. I don't understand you, that. You know what I mean? Like you just got to kill them. 
The hero is getting away. You're sure it's like Dr. Evil Austin Powers. He's like, oh, I'm going to like. I thought he was the good guy in that movie. Which one? Austin Powers 3. The love guru is the good guy. Yeah. That's a good movie. <laughs> That's a Canadian movie. Yeah. It takes place in Toronto. Yeah. You can. You know it's not real because there's a black hockey player in it. In the love guru. Mm-hmm. There's black hockey players in the NHL. Like seven. And there's. Yeah. They're sick. Are you a Canucks fan? <laughs> no. Were you there for the riot? Yeah. Was it sick? It was crazy. There's that one picture of a guy like getting pussy during the riot. You know the famous one? Uh-huh. It's like uh, the World War II kissing yeah, the nurse yeah, thing. V-Day. Isn't that what? so funny that, that the whole city r- rioted because they lost? Oh, they lost. Yeah, they lost. So they started like flipping cop cars. Really? Yeah. And you were saying cut it out, Chinese guys? It was a Chinese riot? No, no, no. It was You're a white riot. You're thinking of the Boxer Rebellion. Oh, I always fuck that up. You always get the Vancouver Stanley Cup riot confused with the Boxer Rebellion. The Boxer Rebellion was when it, it, Holyfield's ear got bit off? Huh? Nothing. It seemed like it was a question for you. The Boxer Rebellion is when Holyfield's ear got cut off? Why would that be the Boxer Rebellion? Because it wasn't nice when he got his ear. Mm. And they were mad that he got bit. He was like, this is the last time I box. I see how he got to it. Yeah. I Thanks, guess bro. the word boxer. And yeah, that's his boxing record. It was really I would imagine level one. It, it, it takes place in China. So if you're going to do a boxer rebellion joke, you would, you would say like, oh, is that when the boxers finally rose up and refused to be eaten? And you're yeah. referring to the dog. The dogs. The dog that's breed. much better. That's level two joke. Mm. They I did really a level box one. Over there. Yeah, they do I karate. Yeah. It's basically <laughs> boxing. Yeah. Did you learn uh, martial arts growing up? No. You seem like you did. I didn't. That is kind of a pipeline. Like the kid that did martial arts like uh, until 18 years old to wear your pipeline. Yeah. Yeah. You're just thinking of the guy from Step by Step, which I watched a, a uh, hour long What Happened to Cody from Step by Step video. I don't know what step by step is. But step by step was a sitcom, like a family sitcom, that, like for whatever reason, people yeah, people just don't remember it. it was but it was Suzanne it was Summers. As, it was as big as Full House was basically. It was with Suzanne Summers, no? Yeah, yeah, yeah and Patrick Duffy. They play mm-hmm. the parents. So what happened? Which to Suzanne Cody? Summers, by the way, she died because she had breast cancer when she was, uh, uh, I don't know, like. 30 years ago she had breast cancer and um she had to get part of her you know, like you know mastectomy like mm-hmm. a partial mastectomy they removed the breast tissue and then she was in remission and then t- at age like 73 she, she like wanted she didn't want breast implants she wanted to like naturally regrow her tits so she did like experimental stem cell surgery because even at 73 she was like i gotta get my big ass fucking titties back yeah. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's what I mean. That kind of that. I'm gonna get my d- big like, fucking titties back. Yeah, it's like what girl. even is the purpose of being alive? Yeah, right. Yeah, it's and crazy. Then, but it just made the cancer grow. The uh. cancer came back from the stem cells. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's a sad sort of a, sad a, a thing. Uh, an Icarus story. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she flew clu- too close to the big. Flew clu- clu- too close. She flew too close. Flew too close to the big titty. To the tit. Yeah. Mm. I love tit. Would you ever do any stem cell stuff? Uh, yeah, I of do all the time. You, oh, you do? Like you do. what? Vaping. It's, it's got mad stem cells in there. The Chinese have been putting it in there. I actually heard that that they were like proposing. Uh, they were proposing like that as a distribution method of of stem cells in the future, of like vape uh, vaporizer. I heard it on a. Uh, what do you mean a network? distribution method? I don't fucking know. Uh, I think my father told me that on the phone the other day. He asked me if I was still vaping. I don't understand what stem cells are, why they're supposed to be bad. It's I mean, a baby. From like a baby. Yeah. Spot. Not necessarily. It's like your it's body like baby, has your body has stem cells that you can it generates all the time. Like that's just a classification of cells. It doesn't have to necessarily be from like an embryo. I think it's a baby's pee pee. The people are like rich people are drinking them. To get strong. Ad- adrenochrome. Isn't that what that's, that's what called? they say. Which people are sucking off babies. Yeah, Hillary does it all the time, <laughs> apparently. 
And what was that other drug they said she was doing? Kuru? No, isn't that a disease you get from... Oh, she had a disease from eating crap or something? From drinking blood? <laughs> Are I you don't know enough about Hillary. Well, it's not your problem. Are you, you're not a citizen of our country? No. So you're like, a, did you migrate here? Like, what? How did how you have did an you? O-1 visa? Yeah, um, but I I'm applying for that's a green so card. funny, dude. I I I like I, you remember uh, Libby Watson? Yeah, Libby Watson got deported at some point, or she was at risk of getting deported. She's our friend, or I haven't talked to her in a decade, but she's our friend. She's a journalist. She's from the UK, so she came here, and she had, you have to get like the work kind of visa. You know, which is like an H one or H B or whatever yeah, the fuck yeah, it that is. Makes sense. But you have to get she has to get a work visa and she's a talented journalist. So she gets a job at a company and this was like twenty fourteen or something. So it was when like all of these like online media companies were folding or whatever. So I think her, her employer just went out of business and then she's at risk of being deported. Yeah, you because like you can't you can't get a new like she would have to find employment, then get them to do all the like you have to get a whole new visa for a different company. You know, you can't just meanwhile like if you can get an O one visa for being just like the shittiest, yeah, doing mics. Yeah, for yeah <laughs> to come here to be a racist open micer, yeah. you can just fucking come here. You can come here and go on stage and just say the n word. Well, you do have and to like do so much shit in the O one to like prove that you like you have to have press or like whatever and like. So you could go on stage and just say the n word. Yes, yes. And you could say it's comedy. That and would then, get press. And then yeah, yeah right. Somebody yeah. will be like, "Look at this racist," and then you hand it over to the U.S. And government. It's the U.S. government, so they're like, "I like this." Yeah, mm-hmm. right. That's Please, good. Yeah, I'm here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Get this Salon.com so most racist stand-up set of all time. Yeah, yeah. 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 Check out this Canadian. <laughs> mm-hmm. Um, that's yeah, that's a good idea. Honestly, you yeah. should have told her to do mics. Yeah. I don't know. It's, just, it's just a very it's it's funny how like I- immigration is just so fucked up and that's that's the problem I have with immigration. Is I mean also you're you, handing out the O1s too easily. I mean you also like give it even when you're going back into the the country into the US with your like visa you're at the discretion of the TSA agent like at the border or the immigration. Oh, they don't like your like, attitude. Yeah, if they don't like you. They won't let you in. Oh, really? That happening to people. Did you have to send clips to the government to prove? Like, <laughs> you have to send crowd work. Clips. No, you said clip. I, no, you said reels. In, I came in pre-clip. You came in pre-clip. I came in pre-clip. Yeah, but it's probably now I applied for the green card. So, what do you have to do for that? Um, just like the same thing over again, and just give money. Basically, it's a cash grab. Yeah. Really? How much does it cost? You should have come it's in like illegally. You should have gone down to the southern border and just walked over. Yeah, coyote. You'd have a debit card right now. From my understanding, they'd let you live in the mayor's You get $100,000 from the government, yeah. apparently. That's what I re- heard on Tucker. Right. Really? Yeah, they just give you a, they just give you a million you get, dollars. You get to just move into somebody's house shit. in Staten Island. Yeah. If you're, if you're a hardworking blue-collar Italian... <laughs> Like a policeman slash they'll construction kick you, worker. They'll kick you out of your home. You, you get their house if you're Being a coyote home. is so cool. It's a cool name. We were talking about it the it, last episode. Oh, were you? Yeah, it yeah. is so cool. I rewatched Sicario. I was like, damn, it's so awesome. It's weird. That's also what I said. Yeah, yeah. it's a <laughs> sick movie. It's yeah. so awesome. I mean, it's just a fort. Even the sequel is good. Day of the Soldado. Because I like the characters, yeah. yeah. Day del Soldado. It is just a For the Fellas style movie. It's so For the Fellas. Yeah. Yeah. It's like a. I mean, because Emily Blunt is like the only woman in that, and like just horrible things happen to her, and she's confused the whole time. She doesn't know what's going on, and then she just gets like choked. It's realistic. Yeah. Yeah. To be honest with you, I haven't seen Sicario since it came out. I don't really remember. I just oh. remember, oh, you find out Benicio del Toro is a. Uh, he's uh, what, a hitman. Hit yeah, yeah. Sick. Uh-huh. That's what Sicario means. Yeah. And it's weird that they didn't know him bother translating that the entire movie. <laughs> I know. I had to look up after. I was yeah. like, what the hell? If you go, if you confusing. speak Spanish and you watch that movie, there's no surprise <laughs> twist at the end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Like it's in the title. It would be like if Star Wars it. It'd be like Hitman. Star Wars was called Darth Vader S. Luke it's Skywalker Del Padre. You know, like that <laughs> yeah, was just yeah. the title of it. And you're like, ooh, what is this weird <laughs> Spanish space movie? 
<laughs> I have no idea what could possibly happen. It doesn't make any sense. Still. And then the scene oh where my he's god, like, oh, he's his. So he's so he's, he's his, his dad. Father? Oh, that's what Darth is Vader S means? S L Padre del Luke Skywalker. Damn, he kept I thought calling it was, him Miho. I thought it was just weird Spanish bullshit nonsense. Darth Vader was they like don't even Miho speak Spanish in the movie. I thought Sicario is just one of those nonsense Mexican words like Chicano or yeah or 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 tacos bel grande i had no idea that it, <laughs> it was the surprise twist at the end the sort of like what a the? kind of like a rosebud situation did you see the white hitman movie with michael fassbender i saw it no what's that it's like a oh no but it's the, the fincher it's, it's he's like fincher's he's like narrating yeah. in, in his head the whole time and it's about being a filmmaker or something it's not i even think really it's like, like a, i mean there's like a joke probably. in it where he makes a wordle joke I want to see it. I rewatched it's a joke about Wordle in it. I rewatched There's Seven this. recently. I also rewatched the Schindler's List was on TV. I told Adam this yesterday. <laughs> I've not seen Schindler's List in a very long time. You watched it with commercials? Uh, no, I have. Nick I have said cable. he thought it was hilarious. Well, it is. It's very funny. So there's a scene <laughs> in Schindler's List. There's a scene in Schindler's <laughs> List <laughs> where the premise Nick, is funny. Come on. The 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 like Schindler, so Schindler owns all these Jews, I guess. Which the whole story is absurd to me because he's a guy who's a Nazi Party member who goes to Poland when they invade Poland, and he's like, I can get cheap slave labor. And I won't even do any. I won't even be the guy running the business. I'll get slave Jews to run the business. Uh, see how they. And like I'm it. just gonna get pussy. <laughs> and he brings it the idea to Ben Kingsley, and Ben Kingsley's like, "So we do all the work, and you do nothing." And he's like, "That's exactly right." <laughs> you know? And he's like, "Your options are that or the fucking Holocaust." And then he's like, "Okay, I guess we'll do this." And then he doesn't do anything. Eventually, he sees the liquidation of the Warsaw Ghetto. So he's like, wow, I think this Holocaust thing might be kind of bad. <laughs> but it, imagine that being your breaking point, is watching children being lined up and shot. Prior to that, everything else fine. I always thought you that know? the end of the story, he's, it, it, well, that's what I'm like getting real to. life is like... Th that's what I'm getting to at the end. He, they're all like, thank you. I would imagine half of the people were like, no, let's kill this. Let's kill this guy. Yeah. <laughs> there's no way... Nobody likes There's their no boss. way all of them were like, like, oh, this guy's a hero. <laughs> yeah, it's almost I think, like at the end he was like, oh, and I did it to help you. Uh, yeah, no, basically. <laughs> After otherwise, I made record revenue. Right, yeah. No, and he's like, oh, I could have sold more stuff, I guess. They gave him a ring and a letter. Yeah. But and like, Gandhi was in it. Anyways, the Jew. thing that was funny to me. Yeah, the man's versatile. The thing that was funny to me <laughs> is I, I had forgotten the scene was in it, but like he, he all of the... Uh, his, there's a, a scene where they close down. Basically, so he had a factory in Warsaw, and then they close down the ghetto and they open a prison labor camp. And so they take all of his workers and bring them to the prison labor camp. Then he has to negotiate to create his own camp attached to his factory, you know, so that he can have the workers back. Mm -hmm. And then that closes, and then they're all sent off. So he has another labor camp that he like moves his factory to, or something like that. But some of his workers end up on the train to Auschwitz. So they go to Auschwitz. So he has to go to Auschwitz to get them back by bribing the fucking commandant or whatever. And uh, then it's Auschwitz. You know, like you, it, the f scene prior to this is the gas chamber scene, you know, where they all the, all the women think that they're going to be smiling. They all think it? they're going to be gas chambered. <laughs> and then they're, they're, it's like, oh, thank God, it's just a shower. And then yeah, they go scary. outside. And then they see the other line, and those guys are going to the gas chamber. The weekly. And then you just see the smokestack. And then it's the morning after, and uh, it, Oscar Schindler showed up to get his Jews back from Auschwitz, <laughs> and he's just dressed like <laughs> fucking Dolomite. He's got <laughs> he's dressed like he's a got pimp. like a a big like dark wing duck hat right. on, and a, it's like still a, the 1940s. So you know, he's and he's got a big like fur a, coat on, and like I yeah, like that. a leopard print uh, uh, scarf and stuff, and it's just he looks like he looks like a, it's a Cat Williams special. <laughs> just walking yeah. into Auschwitz, being yeah. like, "Where my Jews?" He's like it's American Gangster, where they're like, "Dude, don't." Yeah, don't go too big. Yeah, you're you're showing off. Uh, yeah, too don't much. show off too yeah. much. Mm -hmm. It like, is just very funny to imagine, because that probably happened. You probably went to Auschwitz dressed like a pimp. kings of comedy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you think the ghettos during the Holocaust is why you're so comfortable with appropriation? Because it was like ghetto. Yeah. But his family wasn't there. No, no, we missed it. Oh, we okay. we well, no, I mean, some of my family was there. none of them. No, they were all podcasting. Okay. On a plantation in South Africa, they weren't on a plantation. No, so no, it, 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 a lot of people in my family died. Yeah, for sure. I don't know if name it was at one. Auschwitz. Name one. 
Well, eh, time's up. So <laughs> all of my, all of my, <laughs> zero. All liar. of my uh, mom's dad's sisters. All, all of my mom's dads. Did you hear that? <laughs> he, she, he wasn't gay. <laughs> He was married to a woman. That's his answer. He was All married of to my a woman. mom's dads. That's he was married died. to a woman who sent him to an early grave. Look, I'm not denying the Holocaust, woman. but I am denying that Adam lost any family members. That part of the <laughs> Holocaust, I will deny. I think that's an absolute lie. What, and it makes you happy to do that? <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. The kinda. 20th century's darkest moment. Mm -hmm. No, Nick's uh, jealous. Actually, he it was wishes. Five million nine hundred ninety-nine. <laughs> how many did you say? Because the free lens were inflating. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, they were. They yeah, they were well, podcasting know, actually, in South Africa. My my grandfather's uh, brother, who my dad's named after, uh, he was uh, in the. Your dad's a, name is Grandpa's brother. <laughs> <laughs> this guy, I don't even think he has a family. Dude. This motherfucker oh, lies on. about everything. I have. <laughs> I have a family. <laughs> I have parents. What do you think? I was like a <laughs> boxcar kid. He is cutting you up right now. No, I'm saying you weren't a boxcar kid. That's my exact point. You said that I don't have a family. But, okay, but... How did I get by? First of all, you're just completely missing an excellent joke. Yeah. Just it was, completely... It was really funny. My just grandfather... I laughed, I laughed hard. Vulnerable, I got. Yeah. No, that was a fear laugh. It wasn't a real joke. That was laugh. not fear. You were you're like, I hope he doesn't come for Canada next. I hope he does. First they came for the Jews. Next they came for the... Seek to my true. stomach, no fam. Nobody in America. No Next, they came for the fam. Canada. Nobody in America knows anything bad that Canada has done because your education I know a lot of bad is stuff. so bad. It's nice bad that stuff. Canada just gets to like sneak in. Every time we go to war, Canada just gets to send their own guys to just commit atrocities, and Canada catches no smoke for that. None. Yeah, they were all over Iraq and Afghanistan. Also, also, can I just say that like, but w we were in World War Two and World War One. Before the U.S., mm -hmm. yeah, you're so we were trying British. to help. You're yeah. part of England. Yeah, we're com yeah. a Commonwealth. You're a Commonwealth. Yeah, yeah. You guys are like, but you had like slightly different outfits. Mm -hmm. You had like more of a. Like, it was kind of like Scottish style. You had berets and stuff. My right? grandfather was in Italy during World War Two. Yeah, cool. he was a scout on a motorcycle. He had a Nazi helmet that he took back. He worked for Mussolini. No, he was killing Italians. Oh, uh, so yeah, my grandfather. On a motorcycle too. My yeah, grandfather's pretty sick. There's like a cool. sick ass photo he had. My grandfather's brother uh, was stationed in Italy too, and he was a gunner on a like a a plane, a bomber, British bomber. And uh, when we were doing the podcast during COVID, there was a picture of him behind me, and like a stop was like, "Who's that? Your boyfriend or something?" And I was like, "No, it's the only hero that in my family tree ever is this guy that died in the, the RAF in World War Two. And some guy that listened to the show found out how he died. He like searched the military records. Like Tight. my family like didn't know. Yeah, he like flew a, a second shift for someone after like uh, I think some guy wanted to get pussy off an Italian girl, and he's like, "Can you fly my next uh, shift?" Hell yeah! That's no, how he's you kinda, a bit. I, it, it is so hacked, but that is that is kind of how you know you're getting older. Is like the the like World War Two of it all. Well, like liking World War Two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like Zimmer. I watched the Masters of Air. See, people like say that. People yeah. say that, but it's like I think I always liked World War II. I don't think it's like it I definitely would have been. You liked involved. aspects of it. No, I liked the. I was. I always thought. He's yeah, like, war he history. Both sides. Was, <laughs> he's he. It's just history. Yeah, you got to hear both sides out. No, um, those airplanes are nuts. Where they had like six guys. It's in crazy them, that everyone and they're crashes. Like getting shot up in them. Yes, they're everyone all dies. Every, well, they don't that die. Show too. about the hundred. It's also crazy that they don't die. Yeah, like, they all parachute out and then go to POW camp and then do Hogan's Heroes and have like laughs. I think with the, the getting commandant. into World War Two thing. I think that's true for boomers because they didn't do anything except like like World War Two. Invent they were the first, AIDS. Yeah, and then fucking steal all the money. Yeah. So they get old and they're like, oh, we've led these like hedonistic lives and destroyed the world. And uh, but our dads, but our dads did something. So maybe I'll just become obsessed with World War Two and, and pretend that I did something instead of just be a, a horrible <laughs> fucking parasite. Yeah. Which is that entire generation. It makes sense, honestly. Yeah. Yeah, it does. It, it, is, it does make so sense. So we're not going to gonna have like what is a millennial midlife crisis? You're not buying a fucking Mustang and like. Well, you can't afford anything. Yeah, right. Oh, exactly. these prices. It's crazy these days. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I think it's I think that's more of a boomer thing. I don't think uh, did you uh, have you suddenly become into World War Two? No, did you see I, a TV I, show that was good 
that happened to be you no, know I, sure yeah i mean i mean i mean the earliest one is like what what uh the band of pr- saving private ryan and then band of brothers so it's like yeah. you're a kid i was a kid when i watched those and i was like this is awesome yeah right. and then call of duty yeah it's of like, course yeah when that when call of duty was good that's our culture that was our culture that's mm-hmm. how we were raised life is beautiful you ever see that yeah roberto benigni yeah great yeah. movie a lot better than schindler's list so much i was gonna schindler's say that it's much better than schindler's of, list that's what noah was saying Remember schindler's I got list that argument? Sucks. yeah and you repeated the argument to me multiple times he kept telling me about this argument between him and noah about what holocaust movie was i texted the best. my jewish friend i said i'm down to watch schindler and he's like, it's like a Disney movie, Holocaust movie. Well, Adam's favorite like, it's Holocaust not movie is The Boy in the Striped Pajamas. Mm-hmm. Because of the boy element. Yeah. It's not funny. It was a it's lot of people it's like a pedophilia joke. I know. Yeah. It's a little, actually, he said, it's he Jacob said, the Liar. He said, I, re- actually, it's Jacob I really the liar like to see the boy out of the striped pajamas. <laughs> 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 that's the sequel. <laughs> <laughs> I said, that's, that's the sequel. That's, <laughs> that's the sequel. What I'd love to see. Either, either way, kid, we're going to camp. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It, it's crazy that Jews love going to camp so much. <laughs> And that has never been talked about before. Everyone talks about it. Mm-hmm. I, I like read it. there's. I like, a, I like just sliding the couple. I everyone just, just, just like you'd love to Every, go somewhere where you like get sucked off. Like camp, you get sucked well, off. Well, because we're so ugly. Uh, birthright, you get sucked off. Because we're so ugly, and our parents are kind of for putting us into like sex tourism so that we like marry our cousins. Have you seen Auschwitz? Have you gone to any? Of the I death didn't do camps? it. I didn't do it. I kind of want to go. Um. Yeah. Like I mean, do it's a crazy. show there. It's what's that? Do Taft's Fest at Auschwitz? No, I would. I wouldn't go with you. Why wouldn't you go with me? Because you would ruin the experience. What are you talking about? I'd you walk. Be, I'd do my own tour, but we'd like we sit on the no, plane you'd together. No, you'd be saying stuff. stuff. You'd be you'd be oscillating between trying to be funny and embarrassing me. I wouldn't be trying then, to be funny. That your whole thing is trying to be funny no, about Auschwitz. First of all, I don't need to try to be funny, motherfucker. I don't find it. I don't funny. need. I don't, I don't find to, your. I don't Auschwitz, need to try. I don't find it funny. It's the to be funny, <laughs> <laughs> but you would, yeah, you would. Be I wouldn't make jokes at Auschwitz. Be, yes, you would. No, you'd be I would Snickering, and then and then you'd be crying. He would be, it'd be one or the other. He'd be uh, go rapidly. But I think it'd be fair be- to say it'd be nice, probably, for you to have him here because the jokes would be a defense mechanism. Comedy how, is a way. Is he a, lost so much of his comedy his, is a means of dad's dad. No, there'd be a guy there with the book. They'd be like, I'm sorry, sisters. what's your name? Comedy. What's your name? Because we got an iPad right here. First of all, my mom's and, dad's uh, sisters no, died. Oh, looks like second of all. Second <laughs> zero, nothing. We're okay, checking. So, we have so go with here. me then, and we can see. We can look at the documents. And this man was snickering. I his, was not snickering. His family was playing fucking. Game and comedy is a. I don't know if you've America. seen. Comedy is a defense mechanism. That's it's a way. I of, would be. Learning. I'm sure the open mics. I would simply. I'm be sure the learning. open mics in the Warsaw Ghetto were were. Uh, he went to the African American History. I'm sure museum. everyone was doing like. <laughs> I heard a Holocaust survivor speak. We went for a school trip. I heard one come to my school in elementary yeah. too. There's yeah. a Holocaust museum in. Vancouver that Nathan Fielder now funds basically. Oh, because of the that seems disrespectful to me. Why? I don't think Nathan Fielder should be funding a Holocaust museum. Doesn't that sound like kind well, of because he was wearing? It's like it's the Holocaust Museum brought to you by the Ringling Brothers well, he in made Barnum and well, Bailey. Service. That, the jacket. Brand it's yeah. not Terex. Yeah. Um. He he used to like that's a Vancouver. I remember brand, this and, story. Yeah. And he and the the guy who created that is a Holocaust denier. Yeah. So then really? he met he made like a. Some it still not. feels like uh, kind of disrespectful that a clown is, of is course, sponsoring the Holocaust. It's also it's like how, how Bozo s- brings <laughs> you the Holocaust. Museum. How sad is I, it that a I, clown has to do that? Though? Uh, but if it's any clown, it should be Jerry Lewis. Mm-hmm. When does that movie come out? It's like soon, right? Oh, it's like public domain or yeah, something? Yeah, like or? 2028, I think. I what, know, Jerry Lewis? Jerry yeah, Lewis made a movie where he plays a clown that gets sent to Auschwitz. And he like makes all the children and laugh. It never came out. Yeah, in the gas chambers. Yeah. That's kind of like what Johnny Depp does. What do you mean? No, Johnny you're thinking of Pirates of the Caribbean. No, Johnny Depp. He goes. He goes dressed. He goes dressed up to like dying kids and his. And like and he's like, I'm cousin Jack Sparrow. Jack Sparrow. I'm cousin Jack Sparrow. But oh, they've like never oh. seen it. Really? Well, it's like kids now. They haven't seen Pirates of the Caribbean. They probably have. Those so he's just like, that's the biggest he's just a pirate. franchise, the highest of grossing of yeah. all time. Yeah, literally. You think, yes. you think a five-year-old kid with mesothelioma seen Pirates of the I would Car- hope so. Caribbean? Yeah, I would I hope probably so. got it from the movie theater. Yeah, probably got it from all the asbestos in the movie. Theater. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, in his rings. It's a, you think? What do five-year-olds get mesothelioma? 
I, I don't know. I thought that was only like guys that did like have to like do building demo and fucking like break technicians from 30 years ago. Who's getting I who's thought it's from pe- popcorn ceilings. I, 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 I just it's like from the asbestos. word. Yeah. I just like the word. Oh. You know what I mean? Mesothelioma. S- I mean, there's also like the other cancer that I like the sound of the word is sarcoma. Yeah. That's yeah. a good one. What's your favorite? These are all names you remember from Italian church. My favorite cancer <laughs> yeah, yeah. is a child. My favorite cancer? I was like in church so many Italians and I was like, why are we going here? This is Italian. Father Rossi? Wait, you, so you, you like, they were repugnant to you? You found them? <laughs> no, I just was like, I'm blonde and these people all have dark hair. So you judge them for like, their complexion? Fucking wop, uh, you know what I mean? I just didn't get it. It felt Italian. It felt like we were doing something we weren't supposed to do. I would get into it if I were you. I mean, I got confirmed. Sebastian's my confirmation name. Like Sebastian Maniscalco. Yeah. Like I realized crab. the other day. Because I was like in church being I, like, I realized the other day, Sebastian Maniscalco might be the highest paid Italian in the entire world. <laughs> 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 He's got more money than Berlusconi? I think he might be. If you think <laughs> about it, he might be the highest grossing Italian person. He's the GOAT. Yeah. yeah, I want Sebastian Maniscalco to be explaining normal He made, he made, he made $45 million dollars on tour last year. Like Adam ruins everything? No, Sebastian, like, you know how he's always like, why, why would you do that? But he's just like explaining like stop signs. Mm-hmm. And we're just like... Yeah, I, I want to approach... I worked with him once a decade ago. I doubt he remembers me. But I would like him to have the flagship show on the Pissed Off Network. He'd be great. He would yeah. be great. He'd be great on, on TPC. You're right. And he could just TPN. do that. TPN. Why the hell is there a speed bump here? That's Why is there a speed bump on the road mm-hmm. right here? <laughs> it's kind of Joe Parra. That's sort of how. Yeah, it's Joe, <laughs> kind of Joe Parra to <laughs> Sebastian. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Joe, Joe, well, I guess Parra. Is Parra Italian? What, what is that? Maybe he's a secret He loves Italian. tomatoes. Yeah. Hi. Wow. Hi. I like that. I want her to make her. Her. <laughs> <laughs> her. It's me, Joe Parra. <laughs> you would, he'd never fall asleep. Joe, Joe Parra, Sebastian is uh, is too loud. Mm-hmm. He can't go to sleep. It would be cool to see those guys sewn together surgically mm-hmm. at the back. Yeah. And the we have to take turns, wearing twins. Each, take turns wearing each other as a backpack. <laughs> we were talking about conjoined twins last night. You ever hear about this? Yeah. Well, <laughs> Lewis wanted to bring up... I did Legion of Skanks. That lady got married. He had to spend... Yeah. He's, yeah. We had to talk about that. And I, I bet you can imagine you, how that went on Legion of Skanks. Yeah. Yeah. I, I'm just I asking how she sucks dick, I guess. Because of course. I mean, everyone's thinking it. It's, but it's also, no, but also, I can imagine it. I don't, like, is your mind that lacking in spatial, like, reasoning that you can't just imagine a two-headed woman sucking cock? And it's always presented as like, what the hell? How the hell does that work? Well, of and course, like, everyone okay, could well, imagine. Well, I, I used to want to fuck the... The, uh, the cartoon Monsters Inc. girl with the all the snake hair. Really? What does that have to do with what? What does that have to do? With well, the snakes all have their own little heads. Oh, okay. So I would it would be like a oh. bunch of snakes also like sucking you off while she's sucking you off. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I thought that as a child. You only have one penis. <laughs> yeah, but I don't know. They're just like lightly biting. One of my, fa- <laughs> one of my, one of my favorite <laughs> Reddit stories. Yeah, lightly biting sounds. Just nibbling. That sounds as nice as you could have put it. <laughs> lightly biting? I would love to have some light biting. You remember that guy on Reddit that, that he posted he had two dicks? Yes, of course. And then, but he did it was very good at Photoshop, so it made it look real like he had two dicks. And then he got caught because he was making the dicks bigger every time. <laughs> <laughs> Even his too, fake dick, he, he got like, too greedy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Then, Icarus, Icarus. Oh uh, yeah, he right. too greedy. Yeah, he's, mm-hmm. he's just like fucking Su- Susanna Summers. Wigorous. That'd be a s- cool story about a guy that mm-hmm. just he's Who like oh, he's like yo, work. I'm gonna say it. I think I earned the right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna just try and drop it. Oh my god! <laughs> Don't you think that's what happened to Jamie Kennedy though? Did, he didn't say it. No, but he, he wasn't even a wigger. He did that movie, Malibu's Most Wanted. No, he did so many movies like that 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 just became his thing, and then eventually just, people were just many, done How many movies? It's just, just that the movie. One. It's just that movie. No, there's a, a bunch of movies. There's no, the movie. name them. There's name them. There's the movie right. where, he, where he's in Gavin a coma. Gavin is wrong. He's in a, he's in a breakdancing group as a kid, and then he f- hits his head because he tries to do a backflip. You're thinking of You've Got and Served, it's not Jamie Kennedy. No, and then he... Stomp the Yard, it's not Jamie Kennedy. 
and he wakes up years later. Save the last and dance. And he's like break not. dancing again. No, that's the and movie he has to get yesterday. The break dance yeah. That's crew yesterday. It's yesterday, the Indian Beatles movie. The Indian guy who. No, goes this is the Jamie Kennedy break Bro, dance you, movie. We the, know movies. You don't know movies. I know cinema. When I you know were in cinema, grade two, you weren't allowed to uh, go to uh, go to fucking the movie theater. Yeah. Your town banned movies. movies. Is that, yeah, they, I love the way they say things weird in Canada. Maybe uh, later tonight we'll have have movie. <laughs> Maybe later yeah. tonight we'll have movie. After we take dinner, we'll Maybe have movie. We don't have movie <laughs> yeah. tonight. We could go tomorrow. <laughs> <Yeah>. Tomorrow. <Yeah. laughs> tomorrow. Movie tomorrow. We can have movie tomorrow after we take dinner together. The We're going to have is beans an, tomorrow an and then go to the movie. <laughs> Great stations. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Grade two is, is so stupid. Grade two? Grade they don't two even is learn, they, they don't even learn school in school. Dude, they said it wrong. Yeah, <laughs> it's don't learn how to say that school. on the show, Gab. Huh? Grade two. Grade what are you, two. Degrassi, dude? dude? Come on. You ever see Bo Burnham's grade eight? What bad <laughs> stuff did Canada do? You said that earlier. War of 1812? Is that... No, that's good. We won. We beat America. Yeah, the French and Indian War did DC. Canada... Well, I mean, we, uh, no, we assimilated an entire culture of First Nations What's people. What's the bad the stuff? The residential schools, which was just kind what of What is the bad t- stuff? Did Canada help Britain burn down the capital? That was 1812. Yeah, I think they did. Yeah. But it was Britain yeah, it at was. the time. Yeah. Yeah, but Canada. They weren't even Canada. They killed a bunch of First Nation people. I don't care about that. Buried them under schools. <laughs> that, I don't, that is none of my damn business. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds about white. Yeah. I, look, first of all, the last I cared about them, they had baseball teams named after them. Did you take that away? Well, no. Whoop, I'm not going to learn. Whoop. I don't know. Who are you talking about? Mm-hmm. How, it's funny how, how all know. the teams are. The last thing I... The last thing reminding me of these people was Chief Wahoo. Has been yes, yeah. Chief Wahoo. <laughs> Chief Wahoo. And now Cleveland that that's gone, Indians. I don't know anything about. I don't. I've I've never heard. Well, of maybe him. you need to shut the fuck up and watch the new True Detective. Which I didn't even watch season three. I didn't even watch season two. I've only seen the first season. That's bad. How about how's how about that for first peoples? Huh. Yeah, that's the first peoples I fuck mm-hmm. with is Matthew fucking McConaughey. Matthew McConaughey and <laughs> and, and Woody and Harrelson. Woody Harrelson. <laughs> and those tits, dude. Wow. Bro, he was he was so crazy. He was talking about time. It's mm-hmm. a flat circle. Yeah, I didn't understand that part at all. It was crazy. It was yeah, confusing. I don't get it. Yeah. It is fun. I mean, that's how you know that's the strength of of a television maker. Is that's why I think Sons of Anarchy is like one of the best shows ever made. Yeah, because it's like that show gets so stupid. It's the dumbest fucking thing in the but world. They're but also it, like just it's great bikers, television. And yeah, and you're like, their bikers are not this smart. Yeah. And, and I know well, a couple th- H, but they're not smart. They're, it's it's I like know a couple it's, H-A. It's, it's, the show. What's H J? H A. Hell's Angels. Yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah. So do we. We're best the friends. The show actually, is like can't talk about written. It. We can't talk either. Yeah. The show is like written like can't talk about that. A motorcycle wrote it. I mean, it's not. <laughs> it doesn't seem like a smart show. <laughs> it's really he goes Greece. to like Ireland. To well, he get goes his to Ireland kidnapped. because his baby is stolen. This by Irish people steal his baby. <laughs> like yeah. the Lucky Charms guy. Yeah. That's what happens. That's the season cliffhanger. A leprechaun is it a leprechaun lucky steals, from Lucky Charms steals his baby. Next big sex trafficking. Next case. season. Next wow. re- the season ends with them riding the motorcycles onto it, a cargo plane. No, they. they and then <laughs> the next season opens with them riding. So they ride the motorcycles to Ireland. Literally, they <laughs> ride them off, and now the theme song is different. It's like they have like fucking bagpipe, like dropkick Murphy's music to let you know they're in Ireland now for the entire season. They but then it. also, when their their home base is in like Texas, no, it's not. It's North. Is California, it the north? It looks like Texas. No, it's in northern Canada or Northern California. Yeah, the Redwood. That's, That's what basically Sam, Texas. Sam Crow stands for. What is it? Sons of Anarchy Motorcycle Club Redwood Original. So they're from Redwood, California. That's where the club starts. Wow. Oh. I've watched every single episode. Maybe you I should love re-watch Sons it. of Anarchy. I, I, I've seen Charlie Hunnam once in person. He was driving Nick's in a car beside me. That's one of Nick's best friends. I worked with him. Yeah. They, we they were worked together. Oh, right. On, that, on the boxing movie. Yeah. I was a consultant uh-huh. as a, f- a fighter. And they got along famously. There apparently. was a mess up in the paperwork. And they I love I when a boxer doesn't want to. Do it. The boxer rebellion, you mean? The boxer. Uh, sorry, the, the boxer sorry. that's so good at boxing, sorry. but he's like, I can't do this anymore. There's the reluctance to box. Like and in the a boxers movie? in movies are always the dumbest guys, but mm-hmm. then they always have a honor. lot of heart. Honor. Yeah. 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 But uh, what, what's a boxing movie where they don't want to box anymore? 
There's that one. There's a, I don't but know. But no, he does, it's not that. I mean, that's. Uh, no, it's that the wife doesn't want them to box. That's like not. You, that's not the plot of the that. The wife, no, it, but it's always in a boxing movie. Like the that the wife is like, if if you go out there one more time, I'm I'm out of here. I'm gone. And then she always shows up. And then she comes back, and he's like fighting it. He's like, I love you, babe. Yeah. Yeah, that's Cinderella Man. That's Rocky. Yeah, it's pretty much everyone. Yeah. And that's that's you know. Girls don't know what they're talking. I about. I still haven't seen Million Cinderella Dollar Man. Baby. They did not have to put that stool out like that. That movie's so that movie's sad. Awesome, dude. That movie's so sad. When you put that stool out, I'm like, you slow old man. Like, uh-huh. pull that out. Yeah, pull that back out. And then she kills comedy. herself by biting her tongue. That's awesome. It's really yeah. sad. Movie. I found a YouTube channel yesterday. That's just a guy that's like, hey guys, it's fuck. It's called like Brave Wilderness or something, and this is the theme of the channel. I'm assuming I only watch one video. He's like, we're out here in the Arizona desert, and tonight I'm gonna find a blonde tarantula, an Arizona blonde back tarantula. It's the biggest spider in Arizona, and I'm gonna have it bite me to see if that hurts worse <laughs> than. <laughs> and he's like, now they were here. They were out at night because they go out hunting at night. Now there's a lot of stuff. There's rattlesnakes and scorpions. This motherfucker's just it's dark. It's nighttime. <laughs> I almost said dark time. It's dark time. He's out there and he's finding, he's like, he finds, he's like, okay, this is a rattlesnake. And he's just fucking like picking up with a hook and moving it. And then he's like, oh, look, look at this fucking scorpion. And he picks up the scorpion by the stinger. He's like, yeah, he's pinching me. And it's like, this is a, it's produced well. I mean, it's crazy. Since the stuff people are doing on YouTube now is insane. It's like completely surpassed television. He's picking up this fucking scorpion. This is not even the point of the video. And then he's just like, he's like, all right, well, enough of this fucking thing. Tosses it aside, finds a giant spider. I mean, the thing's like the size of a softball. And he's like, okay, this is good. And he just sort of picks it up and he's saving it for the morning. And then he finds an even bigger one. He's like, I'm going to have them both. This one's male. This one's female. I'm going to have them both bite me to see, guys, we got to do a bite comparison. If, if guys are cool and then girls. Yeah, right. And yeah. then it's like the next day he's like, oh, she's pissed. Look at her. And then he gets to the spider, and they have it up close, and he's fucking putting it on his hand, and he, it bites him, and he's like, ah, fuck. He's like, ah, it didn't really look like I got enough venom here. Let's oh try it again. And then he does it again. The fucking thing's teeth go into his hand. He's like, oh, okay, yeah, she got me good. All right. And he's like, I got the EpiPen here in case anything bad happens. And then <laughs> He has a problem. Yeah. No, it's insane. It's like the Stingray guy. And then he gets the the male spider. The, the, yeah, what's it? The Australian guy. Yeah, yeah. Steve Irwin. He gets. But those, that's excusable because you, when you hear an Australian accent, when you see a man harassing animals with an Australian accent, you're like, well, this man is barely above the animals. Right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a fucking. This is basically another species. It's not human. Uh, yeah. Right. Yeah. Exactly. So it's it doesn't bother me any more than those videos of monkeys pulling a tiger's tail. Sure, that's I mean, that's Steve Irwin like the like, English put the, them down there and didn't give him any books. Right, yeah. seeing Steve Irwin wrestle an alligator is like watching Debate Club for me. It's not like you know this is too right. But this guy sounds normal and he grew up in like a normal society. Yes, to then where he he's not an he Australian maybe got freak. Bit by a bug once and he was like, this is it. Yeah, right. Um, Rare to find your call. And then like he gets that. the male tarantula, and the male one won't bite him, even though it's stronger. And he's like, see, that guy, that just goes to show you guys, is they're more afraid of us than we are of them. <laughs> and it's like, well, you could have said that. I don't, <laughs> like, I don't think you need to make a video where you go out into the desert and have dangerous <laughs> giant spiders bite also, you. Also, look at the m- men in every species of the male showing such patience yeah. Yeah. and grace. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Can we just note that for yeah. the listeners? But then you go to the comments. Women bite. Yeah. You go to the comments no on that logic. video. Biting. No logic. No logic. And it's a bunch of it's a bunch of people being like, "Thank you, this really helped me." For Be- what? Well, they, they all had blonde tarantulas at home, yeah. and they're about to get. Bit. They were like, "I was afraid I was of about spiders." To try. They were like, "I was afraid of spiders, and this helped me." And I'm like, "I don't know what help means. I don't understand human psychology. I don't know. It's crazy what people respond to." And then you look further, and then the other half of the comments are like. Why isn't Coyote on the channel anymore? And it's like, well, they had a falling out behind the scenes. Oh, there's just subreddit every th- Yes, yeah. there's just <laughs> fucking drama about like the the brave the sp- uh, making spiders bite you. Stop community. left the show. <laughs> it's like everything is, everything is just this, and it's all literally all the fault of the Anthony or the Opie and Anthony subreddit. Yeah, it's true. Those we guys have those guys have because there's this thing like 4chan led to Trump, right? And now there's a, maybe a some kind of overlap between 4chan and the Open and Anthony subreddit. But the style of subreddit that the Open and Anthony community created 
is now that's everything that's it's culture. like agent smith it's yeah. just that's fucking internet culture is people way too deep into whatever community not even community it's a fucking thing people just make garbage for the internet it's content you should not <laughs> it's just crap you should just at. say this is shit <laughs> and then go do something else that's why what, did uh, coyote leave yeah the why did why why are we not seeing coyote <laughs> being bitten by spiders as much as we used to it's because he fucked Dangerous Dan's wife or something. I don't have no idea what the <laughs> drama is, but there's all these people trying to dig into this, and they have all of these levels into it. They're mad at him, and it all started there. But it's like this all has to like this. There's a velocity to all of this, and it's like what is the political, like downstream culmination of the oh, because we're gonna get fucking, uh -huh. we're going to get the open Anthony subreddit president, and Red it's not Bar. Donald Trump. Red Bar is gonna be president. It might be. I think, might we, be. I think we got a Carl Rove red bar. We might. I think but he, we I don't, a, like, he's not going to be coming. I don't him. see him as president. I see him as like a Dick Cheney type. And there'll be Behind a stooge. Behind the scenes. Yeah, yeah. Right. We got to get a real... We got a Lewis president. Yeah. Red bar vice president. Shane Gillis president. Mike David fucking chief of staff uh -huh. being like, let's go to war with Canada. <laughs> <laughs> red, red bar signing off on a, on a country address. Telling, telling us he's always watching. A country address? What's a country what address? State of the Union? Yeah, sure, whatever that. <laughs> I would love it if they called it a country address. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta study. Addressing <laughs> the country, I don't fucking know. Yeah. Um, John, I gotta tune in for the country address. <laughs> <laughs> simple, easy mistake. Easy mistake, simple. Oh. Do you like... Uh, Mike David, surveillance state. Do you like mm -hmm. uh, Justin, prime minister? Um, I I voted for him. He seems the first pretty time. sick. What's crazy is you can just stay prime minister for a long time. There's no terms. Really? Yeah. And he's young too. Yeah. This is How like old his is third he? Term. Uh, he's you could be tell. Like Forty four. You could tell me he was twenty six, and I'd be like, yeah, yeah probably. Makes sense. Yeah. yeah. That sounds right. <laughs> he's cool. Yeah, I mean, I vote, so? I vote NDP now. I don't like really like him. Honestly, who's that? I New DeGrasse Tyson? <laughs> yeah, New New DeGrasse. <laughs> <laughs> no, the new Democratic Party. It's like more left than the liberals because liberals are center in Canada. Uh -huh. And then conservative party is obviously right wing. NDP. NDP. Who's I the always head think of that? it's funny. Jagmeet Singh. Jagmeet Singh? Yeah, he's That's sick. such a funny name. Sounds dude. sick. <laughs> Jagmeet? <laughs> Anytime he's I hear sick, that. He's, he's jacked. He's buff. People are always like kind of being like, oh, like Justin and Jagmeet should like fight. And he'd kill Justin. He would kill Justin. He's got hands. Yeah. He does BJJ. What's that blowjob job? And he's, blow he's a Johnson. Sikh. He's a Sikh guy. Does he have the? Uh, he wears the Sikh, yeah, he's yeah, Sikh. Yeah. yeah, yeah. He's cool. Mm -hmm. I've heard the name in passing, and I'm like, I already know enough here. Yeah, I'm already. Never I mean, I want to. I want to know. He's the worry. premier of BC, but I mean, well, no, he's not the premier of BC, but he's the head of the NDP party. Sounds so sick. N double A D P. Yeah, yeah. coming NAAP. straight out of N W A B C. Yeah, deep penetration. Oh, okay. Uh, N D P. We gotta have him on the show, dude. Do you know him? So you no. vote. So you live here, but you still vote in Canada. I don't want him yeah. here. So when you call a number and you're like, "Oh, the fucking Indian guy," no, thanks. you can vote. Jack Meat. Like, anybody can vote in their like where they're from, like from out out of country. It's always funny to me when Canada guy Canada has like f like the freedom Canada guys. The they're like, "What about our fucking liberty?" And oh it's yeah, like, that's like not Alberta that's wants not to separate. Well, any of any Alberta like, wants to become part of the Canadian States. Canadian liberty guys Canadian guys that are yeah. like all oh, about freedom of choice and speech it's like that's not your country you fucking idiot yeah, stop acting yeah, like Canada us Canada actually doesn't have freedom yeah of you speech. don't have that <laughs> you, you could there's this like guy Canada you what what about being able to say whatever you want then leave You're that's copying. not your country there was They're this like us. there's this comic from Quebec and he like made a joke about some like kid that was on TV that yeah. was like disabled. And, and then you gotta go talk to a human rights tribunal. <laughs> and he went to the human rights tribunal and he, he lost. He went to Guantanamo, Canada? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. None of it. He got black bag. He well, I, I have friends that get upset about that. They're like, you know what's happening in the UK? If you call a woman a bitch, you go to jail. And it's like, yeah, that's a different country. Yeah. That why like why I'm, I don't it's funny cuz it does kind of belie like a like a racist understanding of the world. They're like, yeah, but it's a white country. So shouldn't they have white people rules? Because there's other countries that are first world countries that have f like restrictive rules. I know, and I feel like if the freedom of speech dudes like knew about that uh, other places there weren't freedom of speech, they'd chill out a bit. They'd be like, yeah. "All right, why am I? Uh -huh. We have it. Yeah, 
Even if we don't, I kind of don't give a fuck about it anymore. Yeah. I I'm don't care. everything. You're always saying you can't say anything anymore. I uh, Do I say that? All the time. Mm-hmm. That's all I hear about you. Yeah. I don't think... It, my understanding is... Cause right? It, I've just never been motivated. Because I, I say things that are bad. Sure. But the intention has always been like, oh, it'd be funny if I say this and I get banned from this website. R- right. It's never, it's never yeah, been course. like, I should be able to say no, this. No, I don't actually think you do. I think there are people that like kind of grift in a way where they're like, you can't say anything anymore. Well, it but is, they just say that and yeah. that makes them money. Yeah. You know what I mean? Whereas you don't acknowledge it and you just say whatever you I want. Might, I think but I might have you're, to. You're hemorrhaging cash. I think I'm ready to grift. I think I'm ready to figure Right where you grift. Yeah, yeah. But I don't... It's like, is there room for that anymore? I feel like I would look like an idiot. If you could promise Four me... Four years ago, you kind of missed the window. Exactly. Like, yeah, if now, you could now if you grift, me, you're like, what? It's a little late. If you yeah, could yeah. promise me $100 million, I would do it. Yeah. I and mean, I'm, not I, at this time. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to see how it works out for Ian Fidance. I'll see how it goes. <laughs> is that what he's up to? I think so. I think he went on Rogan and said that, that uh, he was like... Dude, these squatters are insane. We need to kill homeless people. He said <laughs> it literally looks like that. Yeah, I think he said that. I'm he not lit- sure exactly. I'm sorry, <laughs> Ian Fidens looks like that. It looks like what? A squatter. No, he does. But in the toilet. Squatting over some you, cock. That's, that's a man you can't you'd find, say that anymore. That's a man you'd find living in your toilet, in the upper tank of your toilet. Hey, guys. And you're like, what the fuck are you doing? He's like, <laughs> too late. It's been 32 days. I you wish gotta give me a any- lease. I wish he wouldn't say anything anymore because his breast stinks. Does it? Oh. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, he has nah. got bad oh. breath. That's honestly one of the most damaging things you can say about somebody. Shane says it's that like to me all the time. Sh- of all the shit you it can really talk about somebody, you can be like he was a rapist. You could be, I could be on here and say like somebody, oh, yeah, actually Ian raped a woman, and it wouldn't be like people would be like, well, we got to hear both sides. If you say somebody's breath stinks, yeah, everyone's people like, immediately well, that's they're like, oh, because they know. They're like, you know? I knew it. it. Smells like poo. Yeah. <laughs> I would take a vow of silence. It if is a really embarrassing thing. Yeah. Yeah. One night Shane was like, no, he's like, no, you're, you're drunk. You're annoying everyone. I wasn't there breath, this night. Your breath is awful. And then I was like, N- and Nimesh was there. I was like, is my breath bad? He's like, I just didn't say it, but it's horrible. Yeah. It's been horrible all night. And I felt so embarrassed. At, at Shane, I wasn't there for it. Shane called me the next day to tell me, <laughs> first of all, uh, they were, it was a Madison Square Garden for Chappelle's show or something. For yeah, Dave Chappelle's show. Dave Chappelle's show. Shane invites Adam. No, not he didn't. me. His the son did. At, Shane invites Adam. Chappelle's not son me. D- was and then Shane calls moment. me up the next day to bitch about Adam's behavior. I had bad behavior. And then, but we but mentioned like it. didn't invite me. Didn't invite. He calls the guy. He exclude deliberately excluded mm-hmm. from this big night at Madison Square Garden. And then calls me to be like, dude, Adam was fucking really embarrassing himself last night. And so I was like, oh, I was, what? dude. I, you were. And yeah. I was like, I was like, yeah, I bullied sounds, Travis sounds, Scott. sounds hilarious, Shane. And he's like, what's the problem? And I'm like, I, that I even have to spell it out. <laughs> that's that I'm like, fucking, I, that I'm just excluded from Nick this Nick loves stadiums. Also, and though, then, that's an that's awesome story. Thing. What? You're like, because it's like a big, like, it's like a big thing. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. at least he's embarrassing himself somewhere, like, cool. You know what I mean? Right, exactly. You know what I mean? It's not just like it, when you invite Wardell oh, yeah. over for dinner and he like Im- he's like embarrassing in front of your girlfriend. Yeah, no. It's, oh, I had Adam at, at our skybox at the Super Shane Bowl. Didn't and he embarrassed, he embarrassed him. So. Inv- I'm, call- I'm letting you know who yeah. I didn't invite. I, 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 <laughs> who I, mean, I said I was, you were too me. gay to even come. <laughs> yeah. I assumed you'd embarrass me. <laughs> yeah. And so you weren't even fucking invited. <laughs> he didn't invite And then me. he invites the Adam. <laughs> he did. And then Adam, of course, is <laughs> and drunk. You're sitting there He's drunk. He ate feces before. I had poo breath. He had yeah. poo and breath. And I bullied Travis Scott. Breath. Yeah. And then he's going around saying it was I because I had a cigarette. And he's just stinking up the place with his halitosis. It was because I had a cigarette. Though. Meanwhile, I'm at home scrubbing the floors. Uh-huh. Of my home. Scrubbing the floors. Yeah. We live together. Do you know that? It's One insane. bed. It's yeah. insane that he did that. I'm sorry. Dude. I, I haven't. I haven't spoken to he's Shane. Trying to show I haven't, Chappelle, spoken, uh, I haven't spoken to Shane since. He's trying over. to show Chappelle like old uh, Howard Stern clips on his phone. No, I was even trying to worse show him. That, dude. <laughs> I was even trying worse. to show him. It's just like a Wardell thing. Even worse. And Shane's telling me all this awful stuff he had to do, and I had to pretend like I didn't care because I was hurt. Yeah. I had to be like, oh yeah. Oh man, that sucks. He would. Do yeah. That. Okay. Like, what? Fuck. I don't understand why you're telling me. I wouldn't have done that if I was there. I don't want to be there. I'm. I'm. I don't Honestly, I think. You know what? I think I'm going to go buy Dreamcast. I don't even know what you're talking about. I don't think I did anything that bad i think the celebrities were fake and bullshit 
mm. and I don't respect him. He went up to his. I could see that as well. He went up to his. He's never met Aziz, I didn't go, and he's like, no. he's like, dude, that sucks that you got fucking accused of shit. I didn't say like, that. I didn't do he that. Did. Master of none. I didn't. Do and by that. none we mean fingering. This is yeah. a false accusation. Yeah. yeah, you know those happen. I didn't put any fingers in that woman. I put one fist. <laughs> That's <what. laughs> the claw. <laughs> the fist. The R- fist. R- Randy. Yeah, he was doing Aziz. Randy. He was doing <laughs> Randy to Aziz. I was telling him. I was like, remember that Randy joke, and I said it. And he was he was just looked at his phone. He hated it. Yeah. You're like, imagine you're like, imagine being that annoying, but then on top of that, your breath is just rotten. My breath was bad. And I was like, like it, love it, <laughs> gotta, gotta have, have it. it. What kind of crackhead terminology? I'm fuck the butterfinger. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm tweaking. I'm tw- that's so funny. <laughs> that movie's funny. I'm getting this day after. I didn't do that, that. By the way, for the fans, I didn't do that in reality. Yeah, that's what he did. I just had bad breath. That's no, it. I asked. I checked. I called a couple of people that were there. Mm. Who said it? Literally everybody that was there, dude. Travis Scott? Everybody. He went up to Travis Scott and fucking put his put his arm around him. It gave him goosebumps. Yeah. Every time. Every time. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes. About those kind of I saw Travis Scott you know perform that? once before he was, like, famous. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And he only did 20 minutes because... Of, and then I found out later it's because the venue didn't have we're, chicken we're, I strips. Wanna, I want to keep rolling, but I'm going to piss. And that I was on piss. his rider. I have to pee, too. I thought we were going to call... Um, I'll pee after Nick pees. Bro, I can't believe you fucking did that to Nick. Dude, I didn't you do see, anything to Nick. And thing. also, I invited him. Can I just him. say this? I also invited him. Can I just say this? You didn't do anything to Nick. You did everything to yourself. Nick wasn't even there. So Nick is taking whatever your actions are and, and making them his he own. He was invited. He's offended. He was invited. He's it's lying in public. Offense. He's lying in public. You right? think so? He does this all the time. Yeah. He said, oh, six million is a high number. It's a lie. Yeah. There are higher numbers, 7 million, 8 million. I can see what you were saying about him and Robbie Hoffman. A boot. <laughs> Sorry. Come oh, yeah. On, him man. and Robbie. Yeah. My him and Robbie are the same. Costume. Yeah. It was, I said it was Vlad, like. My culture is not a costume. Are you Scottish? Huh? Uh, yeah. When Robbie came and did the show, it was like two dogs smelling each other's asses at the dog park. They were just. I'd fe- rather I'd rather smell a dog's ass than your breath at a Merritt Madison Square Garden. Come on, bitch. <laughs> Randy. R- R- Randy. I'm tweaking. I'm tweaking. I'm tweaking. That's I'm tweaking. funny. That was really funny. Aziz should have apologized funny. in his special as Randy. That would have been so um, funny. I'm so, so, so sorry. I'm sorry. Randy was getting a little head. Randy and asked for pussy. <laughs> Randy doesn't believe in power dynamics. <laughs> 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 the DJ. If I take you out for dinner, then. You better be fucking. <laughs> That's funny, dude. Yeah. Did, was that the genesis of Indian comics uh, doing Black Scent? Was the Randy character specifically? Is that patient zero of that phenomenon? No, I don't really think Indian comics do Black Scent outside of like, you know, three people that, you know, I think I think there's a lot of like different kinds of people. I don't want to pigeonhole a different kinds of people. Yeah. Can you just what kinds of people are there? Um <laughs> white people. <laughs> white people, people, black people. Yeah. What's up, dude? I gotta pee fucking. I have to also. pee too. Ah, you ever wait so long to piss and then you piss and then you finally do and it feels like uh feels like you're shitting yourself. Yeah. I'm shitting your I dick. literally want to feel it right now because yeah. I do have to I'm you can no guest goes first, Adam. <laughs> You, it, it, then why do you think I've been We're sitting this way? We're not gonna talk way. shit, but don't do this. This like uh, I have to go to the bathroom. Well, I have to go to the bathroom. Well, Gavin, you need to take initiative. Gavin thought you were being serious about that whole made-up story about my breath smelling and Madison Square Garden. He thought that was a real thing. Well, I guess we're just gonna have to 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 what? to it's it's Shane's story to tell. Well, really. it's a it's lie. It's you know, a lie. Joseph Goebbels said. A lie told often enough becomes uh, the truth. And uh-huh. if you're saying this in a public platform, people are going to actually think I've had breath and stuff like that. But people never knew what he was saying that in reference to. That's why it was always funny. Is like people throw that quote around. Mm-hmm. And it's like, when did he say this? What preceded that right beforehand? Yeah, like someone was probably like, well, you're like, they're like, aren't you gay? Yeah, and he was like, if I say I'm not gay enough, then it's true. No, he was like, I wasn't, but people kept saying it, and I was like, fuck it, I'll fuck guys. 
Uh huh. I think that's maybe what happened. Yeah, we should look into that and see what uh, that Hitler's main propagandist meant by that. Was that his only job? Yeah, gossip. Some of those upper echelon Nazis really had nothing jobs. Like who? Him, kind uh-huh. of. He was just like, oh, I come up with little stories. Yeah, headlines. Yeah. Yeah, slogans. Yeah. He was like a brand consultant. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Man, I got one of those pimples in my earlobe. Uh-huh. Excruciating. Horrible. Yeah. Well, Albert I mean, Speer, I, he, I guess he, he, he you know, cool he was stuff. at Nuremberg. Yeah, it is funny that he, he had to go to jail for doing architecture. Yeah, we've talked about that yeah. before. That's kind of crazy. Uh huh. Yeah. Oh, hey, dude. What? You forgot to wipe? Nothing. You're doing he was trying <laughs> to deny the uh, the story. About no, him and it's fake. Square no, Garden. we were doing a bit, and it's like not a big deal. Look, you know, <sighs> whatever. He, he he you weren't talking you. about me. No, you? No, no we I don't, don't care. Is it, is this behind a paywall? It's going to be a Patreon episode? No, this is, this is completely... Which, if you have anything to plug. Oh, yeah. Please watch my special. It's it's good, but it's no one has really seen it. It's on yeah. YouTube. It's called Progression. It's on All Things Comedy's YouTube. I like it. I'm proud of it. Yeah. Good job. Thanks. Good job. It's good to... It's good to be proud of things. I guess we all had to do a special. We all had to do a YouTube special. Yeah, I mean, I, I was trying to sell it, but it just didn't sell, and then it took so long to come out. But and you know, it's, I, I didn't, I didn't want to because it felt like a thing that you were supposed to do. And anytime there's a thing I feel like I'm supposed to do, I'm like, well, that doesn't seem right. But then I think about it, and that was the only reason I ever did a podcast is because it was yet another fucking thing you just had to do as a comedian. I mean, I felt like I had to do it because I didn't want to post clips, and I was like, if I'm gonna post clips, I want it to be from an hour where I like worked on things. Yeah. And and then I'll post those because I I wanted to at least have a, like a body of work out there instead of just like posting c- stand up jokes from like a bunch of different venues. It feels mm-hmm. so pointless to like none then have sh- a platform because I don't have a body. None of that shit matters though, because it's like you know Adam is always Adam Adam loves saying body of work. He's like you know what matters is a body of work. Sure. And it's like yeah, I mean if you're a painter, yeah, or an author, if you're a f- like what we do is stupid of course <laughs> you know it's like it I doesn't mean, also nobody thinks about and nobody while they're making things is like thinking about like w- what they're gonna do when they're done doing it uh-huh. so like I- people that think about a body of work are also thinking like years in advance yeah you know what i mean uh, most it, comedians are just being like i need to do this now 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 right yeah. to like capitalize on the algorithm like they don't care yeah damn the only person doing cool stuff is like Bo Burnham. Yeah. He's like the only he's like doing songs about having anxiety like that really helped. That sounds awesome. That really helped me. Oh, did it? <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. I haven't seen it. Is it is it funny? No, I I, I like to show Zach Stone is going to be famous on MTV. It's very funny. Uh, yeah, and I like the movie yeah. uh Grade 8th eight. grade. Oh, Grade 8. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> very good. Very good. <laughs> I got a, I got a big. You were out. I got a big pimple in my earlobe. Oh my god! I, I, Nick, I, I tell you, I had a fucking huge suck whitehead up. in it You're y- in up. mine yesterday. You're sucking it's, up to it's excruciating. No, I literally what a suck had a white, up. It hurt so much. I never had it in there. Yeah. Really. No, I used to get them real bad, and then they would calcify, and then I would have a hard lump in my fucking earlobe. Yeah, mm-hmm. I never had that before. Did you used to pierce your ears? Did I used to pierce? My yeah, sleepovers. No, no. sleepovers. You have you a did. pierced nipple. No, I think I just... You kind of have a vibe of someone that might have pierced something at some point. No. Yeah. I Interesting. Have, I, I think it's... Uh, I think I'm just oily. Yeah. Do you have a nose ring? No. Yeah. No. That's for girls. Adam has an earring. What Your if hearing. I just came back tomorrow with a septum pierced? Like <laughs> that, so that would be like so <laughs> random and wacky. <laughs> That'd be so crazy. Yeah, I'm just trying out being a, being like a depressed girl. Yeah. Yeah. Remember the the left kids at the what was it? What's the left ear? Left right ear. ear is the gay one. The left yeah. one is the straight one. Yeah. Everyone knows that, dude. Yeah, you mix it up. This kid Lucas Finnerty used to have like a pierced. He pierced the wrong ear. Yeah, in in school. What a bitch. Yeah, that's, that's funny too. I actually we used to make because we knew that, and I got my my ear pierced in second grade, and when I and I did it at Claire's. And I went in and I was like, I don't know, I guess the right one, I'm right-handed. And the lady, thankfully, at Claire's was like, no, you don't want it on that side. 
And I was like, why? I was in second grade. She goes, because that's the gay. She tells me it's because that's for homosexuals. <laughs> and I was that like, clears. That? Yeah, I was like, oh, thank God. And so I got the left one. But even in, in second grade, people knew. People like knew that. And it's like, so if I got it on the other year, you would imagine that me in second grade, I'm going around fucking guys. You're in bathhouses <laughs> at I'm night. Like, yeah, you're cruising yeah, I'm in public going out park. Cruising. Clubs <laughs> and fucking guys in second I grade. I was cruising in grade two. Yeah. Yeah. See, the propaganda, is that, would we call that like some kind of propaganda? It's like the, remember, did you ever hear about Sierra, the singer? That, that was like the first person. She had a penis? Yeah, they said that she was like. Her those are like those are urban that's, myths. That's generational. Those are urban myths. So it's yeah. generational because the generation before is Gen X. They said Jamie they had, like, Lee, the boogeyman. Jamie Lee Curtis. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, and then uh, every so generation they Marilyn had, Manson like, took his rib yeah, out. Cleopatra. Was it was Prince took his rib cage out, and then it was Marilyn, Marilyn Manson, Manson took yeah. his rib cage out. And then out. Cleopatra was a hermaphrodite. Yeah. Who's gen- whose generation was that? Something BC. <laughs> Whatever, dude. I wonder. I, I wonder if she was actually fire. You think she was fucking? She was probably mid, Julius. Dude. She was throwing pussy around the whole globe. She was sorry. Julius Caesar would be pissed about Orange Julius. Yeah, probably. It's like annoying, right? It's a shitty place. Entire legacy boiled down to like sugary smoothies. It's embarrassing. Yeah. It's the like not even like the good new smoothie. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's not Jamba Juice. Yeah. Yeah. You like Jamba Juice? No, I don't like any of the juice you places. You don't like any smoothies? I have a Vitamix. I can make a much better smoothie than any of these fucking oh, places. I have a Ninja. Yeah, that's shit. the Vitamix is it's better? Fucking, yeah, of yeah, course Vitamix is the best one on the market, you it's idiot. It's the best one the on Vitamix the market. Vitamix is literally <laughs> the best one. <laughs> is it really? You yeah. We, when we, to when even we first made money. To even be like, well, I have a Did Ninja. You I mean, you <laughs> get the fuck out of here. It's really embarrassing. Yeah. Yeah, go back to your fucking country. Don't come at my my Ninja like that. No, you you were trying to... Oh, wow. You were trying to flex on us. I wasn't trying to flex. I was just trying to have a goddamn the conversation. Pon- the Pontiac of When we first made money from... Pontiac of blenders. I haven't seen a Pontiac in years. It's because it's discontinued. That's this morning. That's the point I'm making. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's not. It's not accurate. Um, Poor old ninja thinks it's a Vitamix. <laughs> is it? I mean, is it grounding up the spinach like that? Huh? The Vitamix. You still get little tiny spinach. Bits? Of course, yeah, it of course. Is the, it's the it's the premier product on the market. You can put a stick in there. It'll turn it. What into is water. that? What smoothie places use a Vitamix? Yes. Yeah. Fuck. No. Either, either smoothie sometimes place. they use a blend tech. Blend tech is usually, second. Usually Number a Vitamix. Two. And so ninjas way down. We know list. this because when we first made money from Come Town, the three of us all got vitamin. Yeah, I did not get a vitamin. I did. I have it in my house. And then I have, have a. Actually, it was my idea. I they have a got KitchenAid it in mixer. Yeah. What's that? I have a KitchenAid mixer. I have one too. A stand mixer. Yeah. 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 The only nice appliance I don't have is I still have, because it's I've, I've, for whatever reason it's like the appliance I've like held on to through my adulthood is a piece of shit Black and Decker toaster that works. It's like yeah. a fucking five dollar, eight dollar toaster. Yeah, I don't Depot. like. A, I don't like. I don't use a toaster when I'm toasting things. Well, you don't need a fancy toast. There's no way to make. It's just heating up bread. There's I, not. Yeah, I'd rather heat up bread with butter in a pan. Interesting. In like a cast iron. Yeah. Classic styles. You're just saying that because you think girls are listening, dude. I don't think girls. Girls listen love to this. doing things less efficiently like that. Like my girlfriend didn't want to get a it microwave. It tastes better. To slowly heat the bread and butter than it does to put it in well, a it's toaster. It's because you're putting butter on it. Yeah, that's I mean, fucking it's not, amazing. A toaster doesn't Come add on. butter. You could put butter in a toaster oven. You could do it in a toaster oven. If I just want a fucking tuna salad toaster sandwich. Toaster oven is just another oven. It's a great what? sandwich. If I just want a tuna salad sandwich and I want to toast the bread real quick, I'm doing it in a in my eight dollar Black and Decker toaster. Mm-hmm. You know what's also good is the was the ten dollar Black and Decker George Foreman ripoff. Let me switch to Adam's camera. He just picked his nose and I ate did. it. He, Come on. We'll just make sure, timestamp this, and we'll we'll make sure that switch happens I heard a couple he w- seconds. I heard he was doing that kind of stuff at, at MSG. He absolutely was. He's walking he around with just booger poo-poo he's breath. Like, yeah, he picked his nose. Well, that's how he got the bad breath. Yeah. It was just a... It's kind of the... His boogers are the opposite of gum. Yeah. He's like, people are like, your breath smells. He's like, what do you mean? And then he <laughs> picked his mean? nose and ate the booger. And I, what like, do you no, mean? You I just had a booger. It, you have to do it the other way. <laughs> we have fun, don't we? <laughs> I have to do it. You have to do it the other way. You got to pick your mouth and put it in your nose to tell. Look, why you I think stink. things happen, and I think I think if anyone was your real friend there, they would have told you in secret. I'm a talk show host now. Yeah, I'm very well respected these days. Yeah, I respect both of you guys. I respect you too. You're a great comic, and people should please go check out Gavin's special. It's very Thanks. funny. Your special probably has more viewers than this. Um, this show. 
Uh, Until no. we get the center console and the whole conversion van set up, van. I think that's going to do it, dude. It <laughs> literally doesn't. It's crazy. It doesn't? No, I felt like... I don't, I don't know. All Things Comedy has like half a million YouTube subscribers, but that means, I guess, nothing. Uh, I, I don't... I mean, they're probably putting out I a I think my shit got buried because I talk about pedophilia on it. Did they... Billy, well, maybe you didn't have a good thumbnail image. Did they? But they put out a bunch of specials. Yeah. So it gets lost in the mix of that's like regular content for them. Yeah. Everybody else, they put it out on their own channel. Their own channel regularly gets like what a hundred thousand views or something. For whatever reason, if you have a stand up special that you put on, there's all this math that goes into the fucking thing. Mm-hmm. I really I, hate. I hate it. math. You ever do it? Yeah, I hate it. I, I hate was it. doing. I, Everything's just now you're subject to weird computer programs that are owned by just the, the these tech people and yeah this mm-hmm. fucking industry yeah kurt told us a we, lot of stuff with yeah what what do you tell about us about tech oligarchs and like what i don't know i don't i wasn't really listening but he last week when he was telling us about tech monopolies and what does that have to do with i thought you were saying something like that i don't know i i wasn't really even listening to oh, that yeah uh, Basically, he's saying we're enslaved to the algorithm. It's not it's saying we're enslaved in to the algorithm. It's like there's this idea that like, oh, well, now you do every, you can do everything independently. You yeah. know, you can produce your special. You can self-release it on YouTube. I right? think I think YouTube, the algorithm YouTube, can be so funny though when it like gets YouTube a, censors you more than fucking a, a network would. Yeah, they and, don't let you swear, and you have to pay for everything. And you know it's just, yeah it's just it's, it's free it's, content it for them yeah. it's, we don't, we haven't we haven't found a, an alternative that works better than the old model everything's kind of just broken in the entertainment industry I feel I agree you I should feel. make a new YouTube for uh, like and, and own it like a BlackBerry version of YouTube yeah and let people cuss and tits you know you can watch any animal fuck on YouTube but you can't watch a, a sexy lady fuck. <laughs> I don't what want that there say to about be. Society? I don't want there to be people having sex on YouTube. All right, I thought I was making a good point. I just like there's other things for that. Where? Just on the internet. Let's I don't think there should be crossover. You know what I mean? Like I'm not worried about like kids seeing it, but I'm just like just go to a different website. You know what I mean? Honestly, you should have a different website. Like there's every different type rooms in the video. house. That would be more democratic. If there wasn't one YouTube, there was a million video sites, and one of them is just, you know, you know, it works the same way the networks do. Uh huh. Yeah. Know? Yeah. Where it's like this: this website is just for fucking seeing people that are pissed off. Yeah. You got a d- billion different shows, but yeah, it's no matter what. Maybe off. that's what the new YouTube is: is the Piss Network U- uh, website that you could start. This dude pissed CEO. off. He bought a Ninja. Yeah, this guy bought the wrong. He guy who buys the wrong, stuff. He buys the wrong stuff. <laughs> yeah, he buys like he, everything he buys. It's on sale. Sucks. He buys something yeah, on yeah. sale. He only like, does a video if he buys something that's a piece of shit. <laughs> and and he yeah. hates it. Instead of like reviewing every product, it's just a guy that buy always buys the wrong thing and he's pissed off about it. <laughs> 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 I hate the product reviews. It's everything. Yeah. There's something else I had to do today. I'm gonna have to spend like a fucking entire day at the DMV. I have a full day tomorrow too. You're doing what? You don't like when I talk about the show? I got a travel day tomorrow, hopefully. Oh, That's right. It. Your flight got delayed because of the snow? Yeah. That's Isn't crazy. that crazy? And how scary is it to go on a flight now with the any weather? You're like, this mm-hmm. plane is go- going down. And they let women the fly. The weather the that did now. it or the plane just fell apart? It's like uh, Boeing yeah, shit. You don't even know. You don't know. You it's trying to take off. It's got one wing. Anytime, anytime I'm on a flight and uh, like it starts shaking or turbulence, I, my first thought is like, I just get mad at our agents. Oh my god, my last. I'm flight. like, if there's, I'm doing a weekend because they booked it, and, and now, now I'm gonna, gonna die, die <laughs> and it's their fault. Yeah. My, my last flight, um, it like circled JFK like four times, and it was like turbulent, so I was mm-hmm. like, it couldn't land, and I was like, I didn't have any service, and I like, I was like, fuck, I should have texted, I love you. Before it, you know what I mean, yeah, where yeah. you have that moment where you're like, I didn't say goodbye to anyone, and now I'm just gonna fucking die with a bunch of losers. Uh-huh. Sucks. Yeah, dying in general is really scary. I know, but yeah. especially on a in a plane crash, it's like no, it's kind of not even your fault. It's a badass way though. Plane crash? I don't think plane crash is badass. So rare. No, because it takes like five minutes for the plane to crash. 
You just yeah. scream. You're fucking. <laughs> yeah, it's you're bargaining it's in your true. head. You're like, oh, maybe it's it'll, true. maybe they'll. Okay, it'll be fine. And no, oh, it's not gonna be fine. Yeah, they okay, maybe it will. Or, early, like, you don't yeah. even get the joy of like jumping off a building and being alone. The it's joy. Not, yeah, like you know, it probably feels good to jump off a building. Yeah, and, like, Mad Men style. And be alone, but like they don't like. On a plane, you're surrounded by people. There's a baby. Like, oh my god. Shut up, baby. I'm gonna <laughs> the die. The baby's screaming. I'm like, not <laughs> now. <I'm trying> <laughs> I, I, you ever hear a baby? I'm I say that. I, I'm an idiot, too. I said it on the show before, but I like if I think the plane's crashing, I think, like, oh, I could take the door and I could, like, surf on the air. <laughs> <into> the <ground." laughs> That's pretty smart. <laughs> no, I'm like, I game it out of my head. I'm no, like, I, I, I would use it as I, a sail. I did a show in this, Geneva, like, Ohio. The silver surfer all the way. And the guy, the show producer, he's like, he's like, uh, if you sell it, you can you can keep the, the door. Mm hmm. And you could surf the door. <laughs> and I said, just give me the money. I'll also be in Tampa. In <laughs> splitters. In, in three weeks. I'll be at Tampa Side Splitters. That's fun. That's probably the best club in the country. Is it really? Side Splitters. I love Tampa, that. I yeah, so. I had a lot of fun there. Adam had a terrible week there. But S- I had side Splitters was You fun. weren't there, dude. Actually, they said it was one of the best weekends. No. No, I've never did. been to Tampa. You got put it on fool's sucks. notice in Tampa. And I no, comprehensively it, dealt a, with it. No, I dealt with it comprehensively. I, I, Adam got fool's notice. They say bravest comedian gets What's fool's fool? notice. Fool's notice is a thing they do to <laughs> the comedians. <laughs> Where you get put on fool's notice, and then they they post videos of you. He said that I would I dealt with it the best he's ever seen. Really, Red somebody bar. was like Red Bull. He was wrong. It's a f- it, no, famously this guy's hated. It's by his the whole thing. Comedy community because he's wrong about everything. No, it's his whole thing. The and best he, comedians he hates, and the worst comedians he loves. That's his whole thing. I don't know about that. I'd like to see you deal with. So he those. despises Joey Coco Diaz, one of the most respected. Yeah, one of the funniest. The Respected king. in the mafia sense, even. The Not king. even just comedy. Yeah. The Capo Reggiano. Like 400 he's people. <laughs> You're going to talk shit about him? He's he's like he's a mass he's murderer. He's a mass murderer. He's yeah. a mass murderer. He's a mass murderer. He's he would have killed. no... Yeah. He is, he's he like... Would, he wouldn't think twice about <laughs> ripping your head off. He would not. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He's doing what Diddy did times a thousand and he'll never get caught. <laughs> he inspired Diddy. Yeah. yeah. All this stuff coming out about Diddy, Joey was doing Joey that set stuff. him up. Back yeah. in the back in the Scarface days, as yeah. he called him. <laughs> and listen to me, you motherfuckers. Remember the Scarface Listen to me, you motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> and, he, and he's fucking tranked off yeah. of weed. And he's had he's, sex. He's, on, he's had sex, too. I don't know and if And he still that. fucks. Yeah. He said, if, "If you've never listen to me, motherfuckers, I'm still having sex." Yeah, yeah. This I've, guy's amazing. He's got some crazy stories about putting his penis. Dude, in and, the who el- and who else is yeah. this guy? Mike David hate Andrew Santino. It's like e- right. Andrew alone, King. Yeah, yeah, he, yeah. Sorry, he can't stop cheating. It's an ironic thing. So he says, sorry, he can't stop cheating. He's a great actor. So there's a video of Adam at Tampa, probably the easiest club in the country. And Adam's. What do you mean the easiest? Easiest. Adam's easiest best crowds. Easiest best great, crowds. Low great ceilings. Crowds. Adam is bombing. I'm not bombing. Oh. I'm getting big laughs. No, Adam. Big bo- pops. completely bombed. Big pops. And somebody says, like, hey, Adam, like, everyone over at the Red Bar Discord is rooting for you. And Adam just has a complete meltdown. Yeah. I started stuttering. You can see it in the video. And I'm, I'm surprised you missed it. But if you zoom in. I you defecated can, my pants. He, he, yeah, he pisses yep. himself. His pants turn yep. a darker color. A PM poo, actually. I did a double. Mm-hmm. I, I hope I never get put on fool's notice. I mean, I'm so I'm so niche, it's which easy. just means no one knows I d- me. I, d- I dealt with it easy. I would I probably really I'd good. probably just beat the fuck out of everybody. I would start fighting everybody in the club. I would yeah. say I don't care whoever doesn't matter who says it. You're if swinging. I hear those words, fools notice. You're kind of like a number supercell. number one woman in the face. I don't care. Find first woman <laughs> in the crowd. Just bam. Yeah, you kind of got to set your territory. nose bone into her brain. Kill her. Because really. you know it's she's gonna dead. come at you like that blonde trash. Well, if you start off killing a woman and then nobody's gonna fucking people are like, okay, well this guy's yeah, he'll got, do anything. No, there's no limit. Uh-huh. Yeah, he'll do anything. If you kill yeah. a woman, people are like, he. You can't. This guy's crazy. Yeah. He's extreme. Cigarette ashtray. Just Coco style. That's actually why that guy was going around New York. Kill the guy in the back. So you (laughs) kill the woman in the front, and then you kill the biggest, the security guard, the big black guy. Kill him in the back, and now you got people in a death sandwich. They're locked in on both sides. They're locked in on both sides. Yeah, Yeah. kill everyone. Patek Klon style. You were afraid of Joey Diaz. (laughs) I'm about to show you who's the most dangerous comedian. Listen to me, motherfuckers. Yeah, Uh that's what I would do. 
I and heard then, that the guy who was punching the women in the up? face got put on fool's notice. The who? police show up? The guy in New York. He was punching women in the face. A comedian? No, the all the TikTokers because they someone told him that Red Bar was watching. I'm kind of on that guy's side. I don't really know what the story is. But. I mean, I haven't seen any videos of them actually being punched. I've only seen the videos of them being like, I got punched. Mm-hmm. And Lies. I know you got to believe. <laughs> you got to see the video. <laughs> yeah. you got. I want to see, I body, cam. I wanna see the body cam. I want to see the body cam. There's two sides. I want to see the body cam. There's two sides. But it's white girls getting punched right now. By a black man. I'm not. I, I'm going to stay out of that one. That's the kind of violence that I would say is none of my yeah, damn business. Yeah, none of my damn business. <laughs> and that's none of my damn business. Yeah, that's yeah. a good show for the pissed off network. I'm off. <laughs> we t- talk about something that's pissing people off, and then they're like, and you that's realize none of my damn business. You realize it's none of your damn business. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. It's kind of a therapeutic I thing. I don't know. Just a pitch for like a 1 30 a.m. slot mm-hmm. for the. For the TPM. 1 30 p.m. We have sign off at fucking 8 p.m. It's yeah. Done. This is easy watching. This is easy watching. You watch somebody else no, be this pissed. This is a 24 hour network. And then you feel better. Do you, you do the uh, the snow? What about somebody who wakes up, they can't sleep, they're too pissed off? What the yeah. fuck do they do? This guy driving a car, he's got a cigarette, he pits the, the cigarette lighter. He's on the phone, he's got a problem. It's not being dealt Cars with. Cars don't have this anymore. My car has it. Your car has it? My what year? My car has it. Well, I have two cars. Okay. I got a 2020 and I have a 1987. And the 1987 has it. 1987. So this is, is what sure. I'm talking 1987 about. 1987 has two of them. This is what I'm talking about. The old car has a cigarette lighter. The new ones don't. They they don't say that enough. My they don't talk about this enough. <laughs> I have a twenty twenty two. I'm say trying to say that twenty twenty four. I'm trying to I'm trying to say they're like, oh, we have all these added features. I'm like, I don't want to use They have them, but they don't. Lighter. They don't come with the uh, the actual the the plug. The yeah. cigarette. Because Michelle Obama took. Because it's out. for Michelle took them out. Yeah, yeah. bitch. It's for like plugging in accessories. And yeah. she has a penis. Yeah. Oh, I don't. I have to see the. I'm doc. gonna take it a step further. I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna say Michelle Obama. Tiny penis. <laughs> She's got a Not shrimp. only does she have a dick, it's got sucks. A shrimpy. Can I just her say dick this about sucks. <laughs> Michelle? She didn't write a book before her, her husband was president. Yeah. That's yeah. what I'm fucking talking about. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean. What does that mean? It is crazy. That she took advantage of her husband being president. All the other first so ladies. Just to write a novel. They I do want to have do, her on the show. One they day, do magnificent so things. All right. All the other first ladies. She's not going to watch any episodes if she comes on. She might see this and not want to do the show. She anymore. was not going to watch this She's one. one. She's going to watch like guests. Chris Cuomo or something. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah, she's not watching. Well, this Chris one. Cuomo said something about her penis on that episode. What did he say, Adam? He said that's why I didn't grab her. No, ass. let Adam do it. Adam was the one to say. Yeah. What did he say? This bitch got that small. I don't know. I can't really do a good Chris Cuomo. And that's that. And that's the way the cookie crumbles. And, and that's none and of my business. And thanks for business. listening, folks. Oh, you're done. Yeah. Now we're done. I thought you were doing the... Uh, uh, okay, I'll do it. Oh, we're done now. I was Did having you know a good that? time. Well, yeah, Gavin was having a good time. I wanted to stay a couple more hours. I was going for the oh, record of... Uh, longest podcast in history. We did three hours last week. Let's go, motherfuckers. Three hours? Hey, you stupid motherfuckers. Rogan style. Rogan style. Yeah, I yeah. saw it, dude. I saw the last one. They do the super podcast now. They call it Protect Our Parks. And they all get cool sunglasses. And they all hang out together in cool town. And drink beer. And they drink beer. You should go on Rogan. And they do mushrooms. Only I said I I refuse to go. I would have I would have done it. 25 times. Once fucking now that Ian has been there, it's ruined. The it's Rogan washed. the Rogan bump is no more. It's yeah. done. Doesn't exist. Yeah. I'm telling you, Ian has ruined it. He For ruins everyone. everything. For everyone. <laughs> Ian has ruined it. You know Rogan's like has like Adam ruins everything. Ian ruins everything. Ian ruins everything. Rogan has like a thousand listeners left after the Ian episode. Yeah. Yeah. He really America did. saw Ian They're finance. all gone. They're all listening to uh This is a a yeah. A trans file pro landlord ska fan. <laughs> That's like, a new type of guy, though. It's just, it's <laughs> not, <laughs> that is a, it that is, is a very when specific you get a guy new type of guy. That's never that been a guy like, before. That's crazy. No, that's like a cultural uh, uh, sort of like it's like a cultural programming glitch that caught. You know, how, remember how Windows used to say Windows is performed in an illegal operation and needs to shut down, and the screen would turn blue and uh-huh. the computer would fuck up. That's what Ian is. So broadcasting the blue Ian, screen of death. Ian broadcasting Ian a trans file pro landlord rights ska fan uh-huh. to 30 million people that just resets everything 
now we're so the whole, it's good. all of society is going to collapse. No, it's not good. So Ian did it's bad, good? Adam. Oh, it's bad. The society may have flaws. You're but saying the, that, that there's ways Ian to fix is kind them. of a warning. But sometimes you no, want to see the warning. world burn, though. Huh? It's too late. Yeah, sometimes you want to see the world burn. You. It's like putting sugar in the gas tank. It's not like uh, who does that? Somebody trying I got some to sweet destroy. gasoline. <laughs> it's 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 like it's like a it tastes like come shit. On, Can you put a little on sugar in some sweet it's gasoline? Beyond, it's beyond chaos, is what it is. Yeah, it's beyond chaos. It's quantum. There's still an intention to chaos. This is something. This is just like a cosmic disaster. Yeah, yeah. Schrodinger is the, I, the idea that Schrodinger it's like a solar flare, but the flare turns people into just uh, they're, they're they're they have like the same kind of racial hatred that was all over the South right during like the reconstruction era but it, now it's directed at just something they can't name uh-huh. i'm telling An you in being exposed to that many just people a, we're going to see a rise in mass shootings just a cultural darkness it is yeah storm clouds it's going to plant a seed of hatred in people's minds and they're not going to be people able will die. to know who they can take it out he has of it's a pansexual paradox is what it is kind of yeah, yeah. let me tell you mm-hmm. ian has destroyed the world. Wow. That's fucked. Mm. I guess I never thought about it like so deeply before, but yeah. Well, hey, that's the that's the business we're in, pal. And that's how the cookie crumbles. And that's none of my damn business. <laughs> that's not my, my job. Damn, that was, that's not my job. That's none of my damn business. Okay, guys. Well, I will be at Tampa in two weeks. <laughs> Portland, I've got... There's a couple tickets left for the last show. If uh, if you buy them this week, maybe we'll add another one. That'll be fun. Because um, I think I'm going to fly in on Wednesday. Maybe we'll do two Thursday. I don't know if... I don't think I want to stay there Sunday. So maybe late show Thursday. That could be a bit of a wild card. Maybe I will do... Maybe I'll do Sunday, 9 a.m. Uh-huh. If we add a show. Uh, and I'll be in Tampa... And then I don't know what else. I think that's everything. Check out uh, 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 Progression on All Things Comedy Channel on YouTube, as well as we had them in the premium episode this week. Here's the other thing. You guys may not know, but probably people just don't know. You can go to patreon.com slash TAFS. You get an extra podcast episode every week, and also now these digital shorts, a sketch. Right, and we had Greg Stone. Entirely on the iPhone 15. It's sponsored by Apple. Yep. Everything is shot on the Apple 15. These are expensive phones. And they produce beautiful sketch comedy. You can check that out. Uh-huh. Every week we'll throw one of those on there. And also we had and Greg we had Stone Gre- this week. And Greg go Stone. check out his special, Greg Nobody Stone's Presents Greg Stone. And that was a fun episode Greg was on this He's week. He's the best. If you want to check it out. Nobody Presents Greg, Greg Stone. Stone. Film live at the Comedy Cellar. Where did you do yours? Comedy Works? Biltmore, Biltmore in Vancouver. Biltmore. Biltmore. Yeah. It's a little rock club. That's cool. It yeah. sounds like grandiose sounds opulent yeah yeah no it's just Might a, a shitty little it's rock like where club. you would bring your fat inbred wife to go <laughs> see opera <laughs> we're going to see gavin tonight mm. hell yeah thanks for having me thanks, thanks for, for coming, coming pal man. we love you love you dude love Fam. you dude. See ya. good night